This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time, get your time. Don't give up what you want, take it back. Wait for the perfect It is the 613th edition and celebration of uh, professional wrestling. It's the Wrestling Mayhem Show. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Sorgatron Media Studio in Beachview, neighborhood of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. It's very rainy and stormy, and we hope the the electricity holds up and and we don't get flooded off of the top of the hill, apparently, uh, here in the area. Uh, But it is a Wrestling Mayhem Show where we... uh, Chat about the professional wrestling types. Uh, we got a hell of a crew here. It is patron in the bank night. It is the go home show before WrestleMania or the go home show before Mayhem Mania, actually. Uh, and uh, we're going to have a lot of fun here tonight. We got a hell of a crew. Larry is with us. Hello. <laughs> Off in the corner, we got we're, we got your there Sasha you shot. Hi. There you are. That's your camera over there. What's up? Hey, what's up, Larry? Not much. <laughs> Just mopping up my floor downstairs. Just mopping up. Just cleaning up from the storm. Just cleaning up. Also with us on the line is Bobby F. J. Town. Where does audio go? Bobby? Bobby? Bobby, we can't hear you. I had, I had myself muted. I'm the only... <laughs> <laughs> professionalism. I'm professionalism. The only, I'm the only official mayhemmer that's allowed to talk about floods, Sorg. That is true. That is, I don't know. I think I think Larry just got some new qualifications for that, too. Uh, but, but, well, he's you, allowed to talk about earthquakes. I, that's well, true. I'll tell you what. That, that earthquake just put a big crack in the floor, and now my basement's flooded. Oh, no. Oh, no. You over earthquaked. Oh, no. Also with us is a <laughs> Patreon supporter. He's been on the show several times. Uh, Billy... Uh, Bill, Bobby, Billy. Ah, yes, damn it. Right. I got confused. <laughs> I, we realized I haven't had Billy and Bobby on the show before, and now for some reason I'm sh- swapping them in my head. So, uh, welcome, Billy Bobby, to the show. So, <laughs> Sorg, you only saw me five times in the last two weeks. So know. Hopefully, you would know my name by now. Bill, but Bobby Billy. wasn't also there for me to distinguish. That's that true. No. B- Billy F. J. Town. Billy F. Oh, yeah, B- Billy F. Oh. Billy W. Virginia yeah. Town. Yeah, Billy <laughs> Billy W. V. Town, yes. <laughs> of course, Virginia in studio town. for Patreon in the bank. Um, it, it, it's kind of our own like podcast holiday, isn't it? Yes, it is. There you go. To go home to rest, uh, Mayhem Mania. There you go. And we got a special guest. Uh, it turns out, did you know there's podcasting? You know, did you know there's other podcasting in the South Hills? And uh, they've been going about as long as we have. I discovered that a few months ago. And uh, and Todd DeFagio is be- behind that over at Idiot Radio over in Brookline. It's a huge honor to be here. So Thank you so much for joining we're, us. We're neighbors and that, now we're friends. That's, yeah. that's awesome, man. We're, and we both talk with wrestlers. and <laughs> Yeah. You're, we're not as wrestling oriented. We, we do like stupid things and. And we just broke the world record for Oreos the other day. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait, wait. What? Well, wait a minute. <laughs> Sitting next to a fat guy, I wouldn't hear about this. I, yeah, uh, I think you're in the right demographic. We, for this. we had our season finale, so we go back to our roots. When we started back in the early 2000s, uh, we used to do like the the MTV era jackass. Visual bits work real great on podcasting and radio. <laughs> of, course, <laughs> of course. So with Facebook Live now, and, and we go back to the roots on our season finale, and we, we uh, usually do something from that era, and we broke the uh, world record for most Oreos eaten in one minute. It's not been <laughs> recognized yet, but we, uh, we turned it in. What we is the it? record now? The, the record was, was 15 Oreos in one minute, and I ate 21. Nice. How are you so. living? Is this, is <laughs> My this... mouth was all chewed up. It was all yeah, because that oh. gets yeah, yeah. No milk, no milk <laughs> at, at all. I used at water. Least it wasn't Captain Crunch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. At least it wasn't Captain Crunch. <laughs> Shards of Captain Crunch uh, lodged in your in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I think we got a, a bit of an idea, but tell me about the Idiot Radio and uh, Double D Show. Uh, what, what are you guys doing over there? Idiot Radio. It was started back in the early two thousands. Mm-hmm. Uh, we were sending it out before podcasting. We were sending it out on CDs. And uh, we had a, that's how we we did it. And then with technology, we evolved. We we started out as a show called The Village Idiot Show. We were on B ninety four, one hundred point seven. And then uh, we took a little bit of a break. We worked with uh, Kid Chris for a while on Sweet one hundred one, but now he's on FM radio in Cincinnati. 
And um, I just kind of grew the love for it again uh, back in 2015. And that's when Idiot Radio was born. We kind of took the name from the old show and made the station name. And uh, the new show is Double D Show. And it's basically the Village Idiot Show minus one person. (laughs) <laughs> so <laughs> that's the and and we're uh we've been neighbors all this time and i didn't i didn't know uh we need we need more uh podcast friends that's right that's right keep them all together right uh that's awesome and uh and and, and again i think very complimentary to what we're doing here and as i said you guys have had a, you guys have been involved with some wrestling talk you, you know, our good friend that was just on indie mayhem show uh dean radford you yeah, know, Dean been, Raffer. We had uh, Sam Adonis on two weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Awesome guy. Uh, Diamond Dallas Page. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> it's one of those like like I'm like I was like oh who's this other podcast? It must be some <laughs> new startup. And I'm like why are they talking to Diamond Dallas Page over here? <laughs> What's going on? So and I look further and of course and of course um uh 2017 podcast of the year. Or yeah, yeah, we won. Podcast. We won. Uh, we were voted. We did. I mean, how do you judge that? But we were voted by the fans. Uh, best podcast uh, in the city paper, which was pretty pretty uh, big honor. And uh, Andrew at Wildcat Belts made us a belt, mm-hmm. which we uh, we take to our events and stuff. Uh, it'll be expiring soon because the new uh, the new voting started. We're trying to make a run for it for Wrestling Mayhem <laughs> Show. I'm just pointing that. That may be a good point to mention that. Uh, so if you want to go to city paper and uh, go under uh, best local podcast and sign a Wrestling Mayhem Show, uh, we're looking at you, Idiot Radio. Yeah. <laughs> to be the man, you got to beat the man. <laughs> no. And invite them on each other's podcasts. <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> Eat pizza after. Eat pizza. <laughs> other best of. Slice on Broadway. Pizza. Mm-hmm. Uh, but anyways, but no, thank you for joining us. And there will be several other people uh, dropping in through the night. Um, it's like it's like our own like it's like our own like like variety show where it's like oh look who stopped by now uh, you know whether you're digitally or or literally coming in the door here in the neighborhood or sometimes it's a drunk from the moose down the way uh, but anyways there's some people flipping us off last week actually it was weird uh, but anyways this is a wrestling mayhem show you can check us out wrestlingmayhemshow.com subscribe to us iTunes Stitcher Spreaker iHeartRadio uh, as well as Google Play Music Podcasts. And uh, also, please check us out, uh, the, the video versions on uh, YouTube, on uh, on the Facebook. And, of course, we're live here every Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern time on the Facebook page. And uh, also, check out, there's an IndieWrestling.us Twitch account that we are putting. I um, what, what's that? I followed. You follow. Thank you, Bobby FJ Town, for following. I saw the notification. Uh, but we, the Indie Mayhem show is actually going to be a part of that as well. A few episodes went up today. Uh, so, you know, not, not live, but we're going to be posting those so uh, the people on Twitch. Because, you know, you know, wrestling is on Twitch now. I hear that wrestling is on mm-hmm. Twitch now. I, I also have heard that. There's too. a rumor going around that wrestling's on Twitch. It's not just for wrestling, wrestling games anymore. I was watching a speed run today on WrestleFest. Huh. They, they they were not successful. Legion of Doom tore them apart in easy mode. Uh, but anyway, well, you know, yeah, yeah, you, that'll yeah, happen. I watched, you know. Legion of Doom. I watched an event Friday night that had no wrestling ring. Yeah, I, I heard about that too. People were yeah. talking about that over it the was, weekend. It was interesting. It was, inter- <laughs> it was interesting. <laughs> it was interesting. <laughs> and, and a lot of WrestleCon is going to be over that. So that we're we're around too. I mean, we'll talk about that a little bit later. Uh, but also, hey, uh, thanks. Big shout out to our friend Basic Sickness. Uh, does the intro for us. BasicSickness.com has a new music video. I don't think he's had new content in like three years, and he has a new music video out. Uh, we've shared it over there. Uh, check out his uh, uh, the Basic Sickness Facebook and YouTube, and uh, that's over there. I think it's called Fuck It. If I recall, um, that's why we had explicit pack guys. Uh, and uh, thank you to those guys. And please drop us, drop us a line. Good times. Good, Good times. times. At sorgatronmedia.com and 412-206-WMS0 for the hotline. And let us know what you think about things going on in wrestling, things happening on the show. And tweet us at Mayhem Show and Facebook Wrestling Mayhem Show group where a lot of great discussion is happening. A really, really strong group in there. And I learn a lot about, especially going into the WrestleMania weekend, we're getting a lot of news through that as well. Thank you to our Patreon supporters. This is going to be important for later, guys. Uh, mm. You can support us at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Thank you to the OG Patreoner, Bo Diggity! Woo! Woo! Ed Burke, Bobby of J-Town. Hi. Hey, hey Bob. Uh, Tina Keys and the Matthew and Jennifer Carlin's Foundation for Podcast Betterment. And at the Pocky Club $5 level, those guys get the Wrestling Mayhem Show gold content. And we haven't recorded that yet, so I don't know what's going to be for you guys just yet. But thank you to our friends at Occupy Pro Wrestling. Mad Mike, who will be joining us very soon. Uh, 
<laughs> Christopher Bishop, sorry, I just thought about Matt. Matt Mike did a video at Toys R Us uh, mimicking um, Lion King, yeah. uh, and it was pretty fantastic. Uh, and also Heel Bradley uh, uh, as well at the Pocket Club. And thank you at the $10 Pizza Club levy, level, uh, Billy, Billy That's F. Nuts. W. Town, w. V. Town. That's me, sir. I'm still working on your new name. <laughs> You're going to come up with one, hopefully, by the end of the show. We'll see what happens. And also, J.D. Jones, our newest uh, Pizza Club $10 level. And keep an eye. We were looking. Of course, we got Patreon on the bank this this month. But you never know. We're, we're trying to figure out new ways. So it's not just for Mayhem Mania season that you guys get something extra maybe once a month or so. And some new levels may be coming out with some new surprises. Uh, and of course, million dollar level. And at the uh, ten dollar level, you guys are going to be getting the state of the show. There's more than just you, Billy. So it's more than just me having a conversation with you. Uh, so we're gonna you're gonna get videos again. That means uh, I'm, gonna have, I'm gonna have to go to twenty so I can be by myself. Again. The twenty, the twenty, and you'll get the free uh, indie wrestling us digital download every month. There I go. So See? there you go. Let's do it. There you go. Um, so let's get into the show. First of all, several of us here attended in some capacity. Uh, Raw and SmackDown last week came to Cleveland and Pittsburgh. It was our own. It was our own WrestleMania. Yes, it was. To a certain point, right? Uh, thank you, Billy, for the hookup uh, Monday night. Uh, and actually, uh, uh, Tuesday as well, and, and for uh, um, uh, another friend of ours uh, for a little bit of hookup on Tuesday. A couple friends of ours on Tuesday, actually, now yes, I think about actually. it. So, we'll get they, they who will... I don't know if they'll be named on the show, but no, uh, probably so, not. But they they, was, thank you so much for those guys. They, they know we appreciated what they did for us. Yes, yes. We know you're listening. We know yes. you're out there. Yes. We're uh, watching you. <laughs> Uh, but uh, Aaron, you 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 got to uh, take the trip up to Cleveland for the first time because I know we did this a couple months ago as well. Who? Larry, uh, who is that? I oh, see all my names are messed my up gimmick. tonight. Um, earthquake. What were your What were your thoughts on a little week later? We we had some, of course, on the wrap up last week since we had dueling wrap ups. What were your thoughts of that live crowd last week at Raw? Oh, I thought the Cleveland crowd was insane. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, and honestly, I think the show on. Uh, at Cleveland was better than the one that they had yesterday. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it was definitely awesome. It feels like we did win out in Raws. It yeah. was the I we got lucky. It, was, it felt like it was like the the, the huge TV package Raw. Uh, uh, you know. Yeah. Yesterday, I mean, we we had a conference. We had like a sit down table conference between you know Ronda Rousey and company. I thought it was a little weird. Yeah. So, um, and and still no Taker. <laughs> we had not given up hope on Taker last last week either. Ronda um, Rousey still had pink eye for both shows, though. Did she, did she did she have that weird makeup again last <laughs> yeah, night? Yeah, she did. Oh, um, but uh, and, and Billy, I know you and I uh, we we attended both shows. Uh, I, I feel like I, both were good shows for different reasons. I, I thought both were very good shows. Probably, in my opinion, probably the best Raw and SmackDown we've had back to back nights mm -hmm. in in a couple of years. I would say. Um, the one thing I might I, that we didn't talk about is I was kind of surprised that. Um, the crowd wasn't as big or as loud in Pittsburgh as it was Cleveland. No, and no. I and I really would have thought it might have been the other way around because I know Pittsburgh fans are huge wrestling fans. But I think it's also like people I, people don't go real nuts for SmackDown because it's a Tuesday night. I think that works against you. It's you know. Well, but you still got Cleveland has Monday Night Raw. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they we didn't see any area, any of the areas taped off in Cleveland for for Raw, and and they were full. Right, they were full, but I also think there was smaller arena than Pittsburgh. I don't know. When, when, when really, we had, I don't know. The queue's pretty big. When we had Raw last year back in uh, July, it it wasn't as loud as they were in Cleveland mm -hmm. last week or two weeks. Yeah, last week. Yeah. Yeah, so I I just think it was just a better atmosphere. But I mean, I, so, and there was a lot of areas that were that were taped off. Yeah, in, in Pittsburgh, which it's really surprising because um, it wasn't didn't seem like it was that easy to get tickets because I know people were looking for tickets Tuesday and they couldn't find them. Mm -hmm. Whereas you know the trouble that I went through to get our tickets for Raw yeah. on Monday, it was insane. I've I've been going to shows for a long time and never ever had to wait till the last minute to get tickets. Yeah. Yeah, it was interesting. And, and, and very hot crowd. I think uh, Daniel Bryan last week for uh, in Pittsburgh, like that was a good moment uh, where that crowd really, you know, kind of oh, came absolutely. absolutely. But I mean, yeah, that makes up. You had Ronda Rousey, you had Brock Lesnar, uh, you had John Cena, you know, teasing Undertaker. Oh, absolutely. I mean, there was a lot to get excited about versus a SmackDown followed by a mixed match and 205 Live, which I was so sad to see half of the arena leave before 205 yeah. Live. That was another thing. Um, we had all talked about that because we were kind of sitting together. It, it was a shame that um, they had so much good action after SmackDown went off. They had the two 
205 live show ma matches. They had a mixed match challenge match that was really good. And then even the dark match turned out to be really good. Dark match it was very, was awesome. very entertaining. Mm -hmm. Which I, I know somebody posted a video of part of the uh, the dark match, which was uh, amazing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And of course, uh, that's the one where the referee got involved, uh, uh, super kicked uh, Aiden English. And then they took his shirt off and AJ Styles uh, uh, calls the pin at the end. Yes. It was a lot of fun. It was a Aiden English took about 20 super kicks, I think. <laughs> uh, but in a really, a really good 205 Live. Uh, there was a conversation. There was a conversation because one of the local promoters was talking about, you know, how many people, you know, drive and spend all that money for a SmackDown. You know, and, and, and kind of that conversation at the beginning of this pay like 10, 12, 15 right. dollars for a local show. Right. Uh, for more action. I was just like, you know what? You know, I, I think that crowd that stuck around for 205 Live, that's your crowd that would be going to those shows. Yes. They, probably if they knew about because you were you would be surprised how many people just don't know about the local promotions. Yeah, absolutely. And knowing, you know, you and not for lack of trying. No. And you and like, you know, the small town that I that I live in and you. You actually come and videoed some of the shows at my where I was at, and we, you know, back then we just, just started talking, and you noticed the places in my area how many flyers and posters I had out. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, that's a huge part of the shows, and um, you know, I, I'm not so sure about the promotions here in Pittsburgh, but um, when I did my shows, I spent you know like three hundred dollars in flyers and posters, mm -hmm. and it was all over my town. And there's I mean, in the whole my little tri-state area, there's not five thousand people. And I was drawn to 250 people, mm -hmm. which is, you know, pretty good for a little independent show in a town that doesn't has nothing. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, yeah, speaking of indies, uh, a lot of the guys that we've probably seen more recently on the indies, uh, NXT TakeOver. I love that TakeOver's moved to Saturday night. I, I love that it's not like like TakeOver and then we get the, you know, laid back Hall of Fame and then more wrestling. Right. Like, yeah. it, it seems like it, it builds the weekend pretty well. Yeah, it spreads it out. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it, it's going to, I think it's going to be a fun. I, you know, the conversation, uh, I think mainstream Matt and Mad Mike have been having is like, you know, usually it's like the build up's been weird. You look at the car and you're like, ah, maybe that'll be an okay one. And then the, the takeovers just knock it out of the park and have, it seems pretty regularly over the past year, as long as I can remember actually at this point. Um, but we do have, uh, uh, uh we do have a uh, CN Almas against, um, um, Alistair Black is our main event. Uh, mm -hmm. Or at least your title match. You don't know. You never know. It's going to be main event these days, especially with how much how much is going on around uh, Gargano and Ciampa. And I, I honestly have not caught up. I, I'm a week behind on NXT still, and I know a lot, <laughs> judging by the card, a lot of ha has happened there. Um, mm -hmm. That was but, a good NXT last week. Was it a good one last week? Oh, it was, it was really good. It sounds like it was pretty nuts. From, I was like, from, so much is happening. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And it's really <laughs> building up. Like, like this show is to the point where it's 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 back to a good grind and, and amazing matches in mm -hmm. between the takeovers again. Right. Yep. So, um, but, uh, this, this thing between Gargano and Ciampa, it, it, it's the right thing. It feels like a thing that should be at WrestleMania. That um, should be the main it event practically, it practically is right. <laughs> like it, it's, it's like the thing that's been built for a year, probably partially because that injury. Right. And, mm -hmm. uh, and, and it's been kind of like, I was watching back to back a few episodes and Ciampa kept coming out and not saying something. Not saying anything, you know, it, the, the the grandmother that give him the thumbs down mm -hmm. meme that's been going around, uh, <laughs> and, and 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 that's been just so perfectly done, and then uh, up to Gargano uh, popping up in the crowd, so, um, and of course, uh, uh, Ember Moon, Shayna Baszler, uh, uh, going at I'm it. I'm excited again. for that one. Too. Of course, you're excited for that one. It's gonna be good. <laughs> Um, that's, but yeah, that's been a good one. And, and you're kind of curious if, uh, um, I, th those guys are kind of the cornerstone of the women's division right now. Mm -hmm. So, and, uh, this was the surprise that came up this last week. Cause I, I don't know that NXT needed another championship, like for an yeah. hour show like that. We have the UK title floating around and now we're going to do a, the first ever NXT North American championship. Did you see the belt? I have not no. seen the belt. It's very old school. It's, really? It has a globe on it. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's pretty cool. I'm going to try to see if I can find a picture here. But yeah, Triple Tri this... H put a video out. Okay. Today. Uh, th this is a hell of a lineup, though. So you have Ethan Carter. Uh, but by the way, Ethan Carter and Ricochet both debuting on the last episode of NXT. He um, favored one of my tweets today, too. He did he? <laughs> <laughs> Adam Cole, uh, Velveteen Dream, uh, 
why don't they put names by here? Because I can never remember like old and new names here. Uh, and uh, that, that's, a, that's a hell of a lineup there for. Uh, I think for, um, there's a ladder match, right? Yeah, there's... Lars Sullivan and uh, the hell's his last name, the Sanity guy. Uh, Killian, oh, Dane. Killian Dane. Killian Dane, yeah. Those are the catchers in the ladder match. Those are the catchers. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. Have you I seen can, I Killian see, Dane I wrestle see lately? Killian jumping yeah, off the top true. of that Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I agree. Or even Lars. Lars seems crazy enough to do something like that. Lars is just going to like hoist everybody on his shoulders. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Somebody's just going to jump on his shoulders and get the belt at that point, right? <laughs> so, uh, but no, I, I think that's going to be a lot of fun. And that, that, that show is going to tear it down like it usually is. And, we're going to be asking the same question of like, you know, is, is WrestleMania going to top this? But I, I really, WrestleMania has a stat card of, of, of matches to look forward to, too. Mm-hmm. So, um, but. Uh, this whole weekend. This, this whole like, weekend. I'm curious what they're going to do with the tag team match for TakeOver. Uh, uh, Bobby Fish is injured. Yeah, that's right. Bobby Fish was injured. Towards ACL at, uh, I think, a live event. Yeah, like uh, that. that's going for the but them and uh, authors of pain, was yeah. it? Or uh, no, it was them and uh, Roderick Strong and um, Pete, Dunn. Pete Dunn. Oh, that's right, because they're having the they, they're won, having they the... won the tag team classic. Okay, the, they won... Dusty Rhodes classic. That's the part I didn't see this week. Yeah, um, it sorry. wasn't on last week. It was, <laughs> um, it was, I think, this week. Was it this week's? Okay, I think. So uh, tomorrow maybe? they're doing this. I think, isn't it? Maybe. Oh no! You know what? They didn't win it. They're doing the finals of the Dusty Road Classic at that's what Takeover, I thought. and then they're having another match that same night. Was it like them and Sanity or something? Something like that. Yeah, it was them and Sanity. It's them and Sanity. Are, okay. Are facing each other. You're right. I, I, I think I, Dave Podner's right in the chat. What, what's he saying? Uh, Adam Cole replaced Bobby Fish. But he's, he's going to do the, double duty. He's going to do double duty. Going to do double duty. That's what I've heard. He's going to do double duty. I can see them trying to do that. Or maybe yeah. we get a surprise maybe extra member of. Maybe they have like a three, uh, 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 freebirds roll. Freebird roll. That with makes the, sense. Uh, undisputed error. <laughs> People are getting angry in the chat room right now. <laughs> you know, you know, you were you were just running, give, giving the rundown for the NXT show, and you know, we've I've been over here for a few pay per view watch parties when we talked about how great NXT was the night before. Mm-hmm. The, I think this might be the one time that WrestleMania will outside outshine NXT. Yeah, I, well, you look up and down the, WrestleMania, and it's, it's kind of like, well, I remember all these guys the, when they were on the, NXT, right? The only, I think the only negative for WrestleMania for just the average Joe fan is it's going to be seven hours long. Yeah, always it, It's It's going to be tough for everybody to stay focused for mm-hmm. that long on so many good matches. Mm-hmm. Now, Another question, is Supercard of Honor going to overshadow NXT with what? Kenny Omega versus Cody Rhodes at the same time? Oh, wait, I, oh really? At the same yeah, I don't. At the same time. I don't know. I mean, you you could be right there, Bobby. You could be right about that. I, I think that again. I think it's similar, but but the audiences like the, I paid for my WWE network. I'm going to check that out, or I'm a big Ring of Honor fan. I'm going to check that out because I feel like the Ring of Honor fans are very anti WWE, right? Even even uh, like you think? I don't know. I, I think out. I think outside the the uh, as a bulk. The, the Cody and the. Kenny Omega match. I think you know everybody's kind of seen the Ring of Honor hold the whole deal there. Mm. Whereas NXT has a following that's probably a little bit stronger than Ring of Honor is right now. Yeah, I, mean, yeah. I could be wrong, but bigger I, platform. I mean, every, I know everybody wants to see Cody and Kenny Omega, and I understand that. But I mean, NXT has been so strong for so many years that's, now. Uh, Alex is saying, yeah. and this is the other thing. Alex is saying his local indie show out there in California. Is uh, is running around the same time as Takeover, uh, Rise Wrestling. That's Rise with a Y. Um, uh, that that we're doing a, a filming for yeah. here locally is going to be the same night. I mean, it's not you know the, the the indies are not shying away from something like this. I think some of them are similar audiences and and picking. I'm, I want to see Gargano Champa versus you know going to my local indie show. Yes, I mean for some people that's a no brainer <laughs> to go. What. Gargano and Ciampa versus an entire local indie show. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just like, I mean, every, I mean, but show. you'd watch that, wouldn't you? Yeah, hell yeah. I mean, if, yeah. If you go to if you go to a certain promotion in Cleveland, they might book it. <laughs> <laughs> they, actually might. they actually might. They actually might. Um, so especially when it when Johnny was like fired for yeah, a few I weeks versus the world. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways uh but we'll get into wrestlemania here in a moment uh but first i want to give a shout out to our friends that are supporting the show 
Uh, supporting Pittsburgh Podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. Our buddies over at Slice on Broadway right up the street here. Hey, I saw a sticker. These guys are on Grubhub. It's even easier to order pizza from these guys if you're using the app. Uh, so uh, check them out right here. O- the OG right up the street uh, in Beachview as well as uh, I saw all their images from opening day at the... Uh, <laughs> Sorry, something happened in the studio here. Uh, people are decorating. Um, but uh, Opening day at the PNC Park, this. where they have Slice on Broadway, as well as East, East Liberty and Carnegie um, mm. locations. Please do not kick the door down, partner. Uh, but please, I, I'm still healing from that. Let them know. See, <laughs> yeah, you see, you you had the injury, the the door kicking related yes, injury. I did. Good it's friends. a sturdy door. It is a sturdy it's door. Sturdy door. Don't it, do it. It's a sturdy door. Don't. Don't kick it. I listened to Chad. I couldn't help it. I they mean. support us, and and we we appreciate them for that. Thank you, Rico, Rico and the guys out there. Uh, big wrestling fans here at the Beachview location. I know I chat with them a good bit about that stuff. Uh, so check them out, SliceOnBroadway.com. And if you're visiting, I know we have a lot of out-towners that are in the chat room and listening to the show. Um, you, you know, if there's if you if you're ever swinging by town, by, by our town here, let us know, and we'll meet you at Slice. Putting that out there. Noted. We got beads. We got green beads. The Carlins have joined us. They're green hanging beads. out. They're hanging out and ignoring us on their phones, like background characters in a Mortal Kombat scene. <laughs> it's called prepping. <laughs> Matt, Matt's getting ready for his hot tag. Yes, he's, he's going to hot tag barrel. for uh, Patreon in the bank. Mayhem Mania. Uh, but there is the WrestleMania coming up. Did you know WrestleMania is this weekend? I heard Ronda Rousey's going to be there. Did you know? Did, I heard she's going to be there too. Did you? Then there's something about crayfish pie that's driving the, me freaking insane. The, the official food is crawfish pie. Yes. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Um, no, I'm sorry. I heard that song, the extended version, since they, the the card is so large. And when you hear it without the commentary, there's just oh, a point where he starts saying, "Going to go down and get some crawfish pie," like over and over again in the arena, and it just drives you nuts oh my gosh i started singing the damn kid rock song today involuntarily yeah i know Keep right it in your it's head like, yeah, yeah. Kid kid rock. It, it was, i was just sitting there like going down to new Orleans. i'm kind of mumbling like, it to myself it. now and then yeah then then you hate yourself just like yes just like just like larry does for being a michigan hate myself i hate him <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah larry yeah. was born on nine mile <laughs> <laughs> That's, I don't know. Is that a thing? Nine mile? Yeah, it goes Nine up mile. to 26 miles. 26 miles. Really? Yeah. I, I've been on Little seven miles. I know. Eight, eight I'm, miles of trailer park, though, with M&M's. So. He's born on one Same. mile. I'm sure there's more than just a trailer park on the entirety of the road, right? Well, there's... Uh, the road goes that, across that, the state. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's, the most, that's, the, that's, that's the most prominent thing on eight mile, though. It the, is, the trailer park. Is the trailer park yes. M&M came from. It's a tourist yes. stop. What is this podcast now? WrestleMania. Yep. I, you know, I, thing, sorry. have you seen, you know, do you feel like John Cena, like, I feel like he's emoting like that same feeling when like you've been turned down at the dance uh, right now with the Undertaker, asking, Undertaker a little bit. I mean, are you, I, are you feeling this? Thing? He's almost like a, uh, like a little kid, like taking a tantrum, not getting his way. <laughs> yeah. 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 You know, well, it, I'm just going to hang out in the audience. It's almost like you, you're going to see him turn Yeah, like what people wanted for so many years. He's going to start beating up fans. <laughs> um, I am personally challenging oh, no. John Cena to a match at WrestleMania. There you go. There you go. It's easy. It's that easy, <laughs> right? Man, Mike is joining us. Man, Mike just did a run in on this podcast. Yes. Mad Ma- Mike knows a guy. You know a guy? I know a guy who knows 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 a guy. <laughs> but that guy is dead. Does what? he live on Nine Mile? <laughs> yes. Yes. No. No. That guy should be dead. Oh, Appar- no. Apparently, oh, you, you, oh, do, you no. do not. Chances are probably. <laughs> you do not have to have a contract, too, um, Mike. So you're you are available because up until last week, Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens did not have a contract, and they still had a match. There's a lot of people without yeah. contracts around WrestleMania weekend, isn't there? <laughs> Just what an indie show we could put together. It's like a job fair. Exactly. It's like a job fair. <laughs> it's There's like a lot it's... of matches we just don't know. Exactly. Exactly. Um. <laughs> Man, Mike, what do you got? What, what's got you excited about WrestleMania? Because I, 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 if we ran down the card, we'll be here the rest of the night, and we're not doing that. Like, there's, there's, there's like 15 matches or something, and plus whatever's unannounced, um, whatever's happening in the crowd, and, yep. and and tailgate parties. You can check out last week's special for for the tailgate party information. Uh, but 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 I think we should just go. What? Are, somebody answer that phone, uh, Mad Mike. Sorry. 
Uh-huh. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, so did. What, 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 what cool. got you excited about WrestleMania? The uh, WrestleMania, not the weekend, because everybody's going to say TakeOver. Oh, er, this may sound weird. I'm excited to see two Battle Royals on the same night. Really? Mm-hmm. I'm excited but, for that. But I don't know why. I love it's it. Not, it's not the greatest Royal Rumble, though. No, it's not the greatest no. Royal Rumble, but it's the most mediocre Battle Royal. <laughs> but but the two, question the question two, is are you gonna be ha- are you gonna be happy seeing them both on the pre show? Yeah, well I I'm gonna be there. So for me everything is the show. There you go for everything True. is WrestleMania for you. Right? Good point. And, Good point. and we get the first ever Trovery, which I'm I'm excited. <laughs> what? Oh my god! The, the, the tr- yeah. Have you seen the trophy? Oh, it looks tr- like a lady. Yeah, part. the uh, the uh, ovary laden trophy. It's the trovery. Well, the trovery. To be, fair, to be fair, the title used to be a vagina, so we're making headway. This, is, right. this is progress. This is progress, right? We, yes, please, we need a female's voice we, on this we show. Need, we, need, like we need to break things down right now. This is progress. It looks like a uterus, <laughs> not an ovary. But I mean, it's an uterus and then goes okay. up, and that's where the ovaries are. Like, yes, yes. I, but I you guys are, remember my you guys, you guys you guys are calling it an ovary, and it looks more that, like a uterus. That doesn't sound like With progress. Ovaries. It doesn't even sound like shit. It's not as catchy, okay? This is foreign territory Why? for me. I've never seen one. Todd thought, <laughs> Todd, Todd, thought he, Todd thought he was coming to talk about wrestling. <laughs> what a surprise. You want to talk about scene? I'm good. You talk about ovaries and, and lady parts, I'm 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 lost. <laughs> this is a wrestling podcast, damn it. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Oh says the boy. guy with when the kid. The Bailey <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want to know. What do you want to know, Bobby? Why did they hang the Bailey streamers from it yesterday? <laughs> oh Jesus. <laughs> well, <laughs> did. Bobby, Bobby, WrestleMania happens at a certain time of the month. That's why. <laughs> Oh, 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 okay. We need to move on from this one real quick. Hey, uh, it's their fault I can make these jokes. <laughs> that, that is true. They did leave the wide the door wide open nah. just like just nope. like that whole month That's we did I great mean, balls of fire. It's their fault. It's Don't their forget fault it. it's... I can make those jokes. They could have just had a fucking normal looking trophy. Or yeah. how about this? <laughs> Why not an Andre the Giant <laughs> women's Andre the Giant? Will. No, no, just another Andre the Giant trophy. Why the hell do I don't see anything wrong with that. I think they went scrambling because of the the Mula fiasco. (laughs) Yeah. And they they just didn't know what to do at that point. God damn, put a wig on Andre. I feel like they pointed at something in a calendar or (laughs) or a catalog, right? They're just like, that one, that looks womanly. (laughs) And they didn't realize it's like they didn't realize why it looked womanly, and there was like, yeah. oh, then the internet no, pulled them. They, they, what what like, they did is, I think they picked up on it. They yeah. melted down the other trophy, and that was just what it came out. The one with Mola's <laughs> face on it. Yes, they just melted that one down, and just this. What That's what happens. Uh, Five hundred Kelvin for uh, the Mola's face trophy. It's it's the haunted ovaries of Mayon. <laughs> oh, oh. oh no, <laughs> Billy, what are you excited for this weekend? <laughs> um. Um, um, Rise Wrestling in here in uh, Pennsylvania. There you go, Rise in Connellsville. No, no, uh, no, no trophies there, or no, uh, trophies. You know, no ovaries, probably. I don't no, know. No, no, intergender wrestling. Damn it. Yeah, intergender wrestling. So I mean, <laughs> Honey Badger is a part of that. She's yeah. gonna be on the show next week. Friend of the show, Honey Badger. Friend of the show. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Uh, well, <laughs> what about you, Todd? What are you excited for for WrestleMania? Uh, the the um three way with uh, Seth, Finn, and Miz. I'm I'm excited for Miz. They were really going in a direction with Miz when mm-hmm. when he just dismantled Cena and Reigns within a matter of an hour, mm-hmm. which is probably the best Raw to to me to this year so far. Mm-hmm. Um, I love I love that. I'm curious to see where they're going to go with that. Uh, it looks like they're going to take Miz in a different direction. Did you, did you know, notice? Notice last night on commentary, like he's like more toned down. Like he's like he's got like the post baby glow. Yeah. In, on commentary, that's no sleep. That's no sleep. That's, <laughs> that's what that that's is. Why, that's why if he keeps going, like he needs to go downhill. We were talking about this last night. I, I don't think we ended up on the wrap up talking about this, but he needs to as he gets going. Whether he wins, keeps the title or not, like it's the well. This is three month, three weeks without any sleep, right? right. He'll start losing hair. Yeah, yeah, It'll get yeah. patchy. Well, I, I can attest to that. He have bags well, under his arms. Well, what eyes. should happen is the Miz should carry a baby monitor. And, <laughs> and, and Miz should, no, and Miz should, and Miz should turn into Festus when that shit goes off. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Did no, you? Like when that goes off, he goes into a blind fatherly rage. <laughs> <laughs> like, dad strength. And, yes. 
Did you see uh, uh Mad Mike, did you see the 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 Snickers commercial with with the Miz where he's acting and he's yeah. he's overacting? Yeah. Like yeah. that's what he turns into when yes. it, yeah, exactly. Uh, that's that commercial's hilarious. It, it, it <laughs> is. It is. It, it's oh, it's not as good as the 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 uh counting with Elias. Yeah. Uh but uh but still very a lot of fun. I love that they do those. Uh, what about you, Larry? What uh, what, what are you excited about? Oh shit! Um, Kid Rock. <coughs> Kid Rock. Yeah, you you're, you're oh. ready for Kid Rock to play out uh, Undertaker? I hope for the stage collapses when he stands on it. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> um, no, Jeez. I, I'm 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 also excited for the Intercontinental Title match. That, that's yeah. probably the match I'm most looking forward is, to. Is it weird? That's the ty- that's the match I'm least looking forward to. Wow! Yeah, only but, because but, but, you've wow. seen it on that's Raw. That's the one I'm least looking that's forward to. But but also there's a lot of other stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, uh, like honestly, Mike's looking that... forward to Ronda Rousey. No, well, is, no, it, is there uh, really? No. Like, wait, okay, here's another question: Is there really a match that you're like, well, I could do without that at this point? Like honestly, everything, the, I could the the IC title match because I think if either Finn or Rollins wins, it, it's a step down for them. Okay, and yeah. if Miz, re- I think that's the main title on Raw. Uh, not right. after not after Sunday. Well, yeah, right. once Roman wins, not after Sunday, it won't be. But I, I don't see what Rollins or Finn could either do with that thing. Have amazing but, matches every week with a lot of different people. Believe yeah, it. But, but, they can, but they can cost each other the match, and Miz can be the longest reigning IC champion in history. True, true. Believe it or not, the one match that I could probably do without is uh, the Ronda Rousey, Kurt Angle, and Stephanie and Triple H match. <laughs> yeah. I actually agree with that. Yeah. Uh, yeah I mean, yeah. I, really, I really could do without as that. A, we, as, as especially a match. after we saw what Ronda Rousey did trying to sell a table. Going through a table last as night. as a match, and the pr- awful promo. It's not going to be great as a match. No, as I, the thing you're definitely going to see in the news on Monday. Yes, right, it's the thing. That's right? the water yes. cooler. We yeah. should combine the McMahon matches. <laughs> also, <laughs> also, we got a McMahon all over this show too. We should combine those matches. I think Vince should answer Cena's challenge. <laughs> I'm actually excited for the Dan O'Brien, Shane McMahon. On a show, on a show, when we have so many matches and there's so many people that don't get chances, like the Usos talking mm-hmm. about, they never did, got a WrestleMania match, and then we got all these spots filled by McMahon's. Uh, it's it, it, it reminds it just throws me back to the WrestleMania 2000 McMahon in every corner match, a little which bit. was great, which was which was great for what it was, yes, what but was. but none of them were wrestling. Yeah, that's true. That's true too. None of them were wrestling. It was one match. And it actually focused on the four performers. Mm-hmm. This is true. They were, they were, they were, um, they were, they were kind of helpers in that match than anything, right? Uh, yeah, I'm excited for the real main event of WrestleMania, which is Oscar and Charlotte. Mm-hmm. That, oh, uh, all right. So, what do we think goes on last? Because I think that goes on last. I hope that's last. Uh, I don't think it's going to go on last. I, I, I don't, honestly, on last. unless it is the most mind blowing match of the night, they haven't been. Whoever not. is going on last is in trouble. They have not mentioned the match that is going. Well, they've been mentioning it, but it hasn't made official yet. That will be the last match. Okay. Taker and Cena. That will be the no last way. match. No way. Absolutely. Nah. I, no unannounced. Absolutely. Really? Yes. I'm thinking it's not happening. It's not a match. If it, it, if it's, they, it's, gonna, it's gonna happen, it'll be the last match because. We won't see either one for a year. Here's the other problem. Here's the other problem I'm having with this. And again, this this you're never you're, you're never going to be happy with WrestleMania in the moment idea that I've been talking about lately. If a match between Cena and Undertaker doesn't happen, does that ruin WrestleMania for you? No, not no, at all. No, because it doesn't need so. to happen. No, 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 it doesn't. It really doesn't. Kinda, kinda, kinda. See? Yeah. Kinda. I knew Mike. I knew I'd get Mike with that one. Because <laughs> I, I want to see that match. I've wanted to see that match for years, mm-hmm. especially at Mania. And if we're not doing it at Mania, what the fuck have we been doing? <laughs> it is yeah. true. Yeah, That's true. We've wasted nothing. a lot what of time leading to Mania. We, we got to fill three hours, mm-hmm. and we're just going to let John Cena play play turn down for the prom for the last month for, uh, for 15 to 20 minutes every week on a three-hour program because like, we just need to fill. It could like, be a slow is he, build. Is he coming out of a new movie with a gravestone with a gravestone emoji and blockers too? Because that's basically <laughs> what be. they might just be getting us ready for next year. You, well, you think so? Yeah, you he's, think he's just, just gonna come out and challenge he the comes Undertaker out every week for the for, rest of for, every, for a year. Every, every, every pay per view, <laughs> every pay per view. Yeah, week. yeah. So every week it's like yeah. Sonic is gonna say something, and be like, you know, I'm gonna face Taker next year. Mike, what match you think's gonna close it? 
I think Charlotte Asuka. I'm legit serious about that. If not, AJ Shinsuke. That's the, ma- that's the match that should close. Mm-hmm. I think it's going to be Brock those, and those Roman. Those are the only two I could see closing because it ain't going to be Brock Roman. If anything, I think that should open the show. I agree. Yeah, there it's too. not going to. No. I know it's yeah, not going yeah. to. Daniel said the main event. I know it's uh, not going to. Well, yeah, she- yeah, Sheamus and Daniel Bryan was a main event too. Yeah, main yeah. event. And, and again, breaking down this main event, I don't believe main events can be used as what they used to mean because you really have about 10 main events at this point. <laughs> and then that's what WrestleMania is, what? which is great. It's the show of shows, I mean, right? Think about it. Uh, the reason I say Charlotte and Asuka is you have a flair in the main event, right? It's mm-hmm. title versus streak, right? Which is something they wanted to do with Cena and Taker, but could never get it done. Uh, this, is, this literally has the highest stakes of any WrestleMania match. I don't care what other one is announced. Like, like, this has the highest stakes of any WrestleMania match because if Asuka wins, she's the most dominant, one of the most dominant wrestlers of all time. Producer if Miss- Charlotte wins, she stops one of the most dominant wrestlers. Pro- of all producer time. Missy, Mike. This yeah. is this is my theory. Okay. They have spent so much time spinning us this whole John Cena calling out the Undertaker, John Cena calling out the Undertaker. They have to give it to us. Like legit, as much time as, show as, as much time as as much as they spend on it, they have to give it to us. <laughs> so taker. here's here's how I'm seeing it going down. You know how they add those random last matches on a raw that we didn't really know about, but we know that they had enough time to fill for another match. Usually on the pre show, right? I think it's gonna come down to you guys think it's over and then you're gonna hear the bell. And it's gonna be the Undertaker's music and like everybody's that. gonna lose their shit. And John Cena, they're going to pan to him somewhere in the crowd, and he's going to be losing his shit, and mm-hmm. he's going to run to the ring, and they're going to have him with Taker doing something. I mean, unless John Cena is eating popcorn like the Michael Jackson meme, then... I want to see him I, drinking uh, a beer with that guy in the, yeah, there you go. three weeks yeah. ago. See, Dude, I'm telling you, you're going to see... I think it's weird to do that to close the show, though. Mm, yeah, because, I because still, I still love, I still really, love the set, the the one that says this whole thing is going to end up setting up John Cena and Hulk Hogan in a surprise mini match at Mania. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, all right, why not? I still would be okay if John Cena entered the Andre Battle Royal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think that'd be kind of cool. Yeah, but he, he explained he, it away he's, this week, so he's, he's, that's beneath him. Man, I can't wait for for you know. John Cena just you're just gonna cut to John Cena throughout the night and he's drinking a beer, he's eating popcorn, he's hanging with the fans. It's all sad. He gets you like know? more progressively inebriated throughout yeah, the whole yeah. show. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he gets drunker and then he gets challenged, <laughs> right? Oh. And then he hallucinates he sees the Undertaker. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh no, no. And then eventually, eventually, Juan Cena comes out <laughs> <laughs> and and tries to tries to challenge the Undertaker. No, Wait, th- does that mean he's been drinking tequila instead of yeah. beer? Yeah. I don't know. They serve that down there in New Orleans. It's New Orleans. Of Mar- course, they Margarita. sell tequila. They, they, yeah. <laughs> hurricanes. Hurricanes. Okay. It, it could be the dead man against the drunk man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anything else you guys looking forward to here in general? I, did, I think did I, did I touch on everybody here. Bobby? I, I was going to say Oscar and Charlotte looking forward to. Not looking forward to. Sorry to say, but U.S. title. Unless Rusev wins. Yeah. I, th- I think Rusev's going to win. I'm yeah. looking forward to... Um, an entire, an entire, uh, an entire stadium uh, chanting Rusev Day. Yes, that's, <laughs> I, that's be amazing. I mean, if, if, no matter what happens in that match, Aiden English uh, singing out Rusev Day at WrestleMania. Rusev Day is, <laughs> is worth it. And by the way, I well, got check it is podcast day, but uh, oh, it's it is Rusev Day. Also Rusev. It is Rusev Day. We're good. We're there, good. There is one other thing we that nobody's touched on yet. Hmm. What's Elias birthday? gonna do? What is Elias <laughs> gonna do? He's gonna fight. Russ. He's gonna fight Undertaker. No, <laughs> we, is, we didn't Elias touch on the bronze thing. partner. Elias is bronze partner. Oh, jeez. So you don't. You I, don't think Lash? It's gonna be Lashley. No, Lashley. Lashley's a Raw or SmackDown after guy. Yeah. Either that, either that, or a surprise in the Battle Royal. And you have a surprise like that that's ready to go. But he he's almost at bronze at bronze level as far as his badassery. No, he's you would, not. No. no, he is not. Uh, when, when was the last mean, time I, you saw I TNA? Think... When was the last time I saw TNA? Oh, man. Yeah. A long time. Yeah, yeah. yeah the, all the guys are in WWE. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, you're thinking of Bobby Lashley from 2008. Okay, so uh, he, he slowed down a lot since the last time we've seen him? 
Uh, slow down would be a, a compliment. Okay. <laughs> I, I, but I, on a side note, I love the Brain Strowman thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I want Berserk for that. I, I, I say, I, I still think it's James, you know, James Ellsworth, or I think I was even saying, you know, bring back Colin Delaney. You know, mm-hmm. the original James that Ellsworth as the as the as the partner. You know, something ridiculous like that. Yeah, like yeah, you might uh, as what well. If was Kurt, yeah, I what if I was it. Kurt Hawkins? <laughs> stop was stop that. Hawkins? No, uh, no, no, don't, no, don't even joke just, about that. He just got involuntarily shock mastered last night. I, yeah. I don't think it's him. And also, question about that. What was that guy doing in a dark room by himself? Oh, we can only speculate, <laughs> can we? He was booking Braun's partner. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He was writing, he's writing a segment that was about to get rejected. Um, yeah. Well, WrestleMania is going to be a lot of fun. And if you're in the area, we're doing a, uh, a WrestleMania watch party here in uh, in the studio in Pittsburgh. And if you happen to be in northern L.A., I'll be around there watching it in my hotel room. And, I, well, that sounds like a weird invite, actually. Um, <laughs> but I am looking to connect with some mayhemers out there while I'm out in California this uh, this weekend. Uh, you know, we're gonna be yeah. networking chill. If, if you <laughs> have to be in New Orleans, yeah, yeah, and, Mad and Mike's you, gonna and, be there. And, and you see Mad Mike just rolling around. Call out Mad Mike. You still get to chop me. That's right. That's right. That's right. Only one. Only one. Maybe two if I'm drunk. Are we allowed to have somebody else do it for us? No. Damn. No. No. That's how. That's oh, how God, Doc Remedy got. In, that's nope. how Doc no, Remedy got in trouble no, and got I, two Ray Road chops. So exactly. Yes. No. I. I, I know my lessons. <laughs> Damn. I know my lessons. Yeah. That's right. That's right. All right, guys. Um. It, it, wait, where's my Where's my history? There it is. Hey, you want to give a shout out to our friends uh, over at Occupy Pro Wrestling? Pro Wrestling is a wild and crazy art, art form. Did you know that, guys? Uh, in Occupy Pro Wrestling. Uh, is uh, here to look at what makes it fun, uh, featuring articles, blogs, and a podcast that brings you interviews with fellow fans. And they've been doing a lot of live blogging. And I know what the platform they've been using, uh, I guess uh, the, the pro wrestling live blogging is going to become its own pl- platform. So it's cool to see that uh, uh, bumping up as well. Occupy Pro Wrestling, putting the smart back into smart mark. Check it out, OccupyProWrestling.com. And thank you so much for those guys over there for supporting. I know they, re- they repost a lot of our uh, shows and uh, news throughout the week as well. And uh, big supporters of us for a good while. Also, also California based. So uh, reaching out the mayhem across the country. Thanks so much. OccupyProWrestling.com. Power number two, the Smurks on Twitter. We'll be back with a mayhem mania. The, the mainstream Matt has been chomping at the bit over there. He's been. He's not ready. He's not ready. He's not ready. Well, he'll be ready because he has this commercial break. To prepare. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. We are back, Wrestling Mayhem Show. We got uh, Todd DeFagio of Idiot Radio wondering why he's here right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a great time. You, you got to see. Awesome. You got to see some interesting debuting puppets for Mayhem Show Gold. <laughs> I'm gonna have nightmares. <laughs> But I did, I, I'm enjoying the she slice on Broadway pizza. Off. There you go. There you go. Check out Idiot Radio and Double D Show on all your podcast providers. Tune in. I'm trying to remember where all you are. <laughs> I, iTunes, iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, Spreaker, YouTube, and iHeartRadio. All places. Check them out. And also, uh, Patreon Billy's here. Sorg, I'm still here. You're still here. Uh, and, and, um, well, if, if you can see in the corner of the screen, if you're on video, everybody's here. What? I'm not going to introduce everybody because they're all going to have their time to shine on Patreon the bank and presiding over that is mainstream Matt. And I, I'm glad that, that, that Larry is the lovely Vanna, uh, with your post-it note situation, uh, going on there. This is this is amazing. Uh, Matt, are you ready for this? No, 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 no. Hey, um, but I just want to say, uh, you know, this is the final round of this year's Mayhem Mania, and uh, I just want to say, as we go into this final exciting Patreon in the bank round, um, it's been terrible this year, really. I mean, honestly, <laughs> like you guys have really no. Well, Larry had a few bright moments, but Park Gun was a nice Park moment. Gun, but Park come Gun. on, we could do so much better. Um, it started out so strong too. We, yeah, we were off the. Uh, that, that, yeah, when we created those first eight matches, we were rolling. Maybe that was it. They were just that uh, killed the creativity. <sighs> Anyways, this do? is what we have. We've and this got is what we eight have to deal with. people to get through tonight, Sorg. Eight people to get through. Eight Patreon to pony up their money Jeez. to play Patreon in the background of Mayhem Mania. Here's the deal. We've got an undercard. 
All right. Of our theory. I'm not even going to explain what we're trying to do. If you've come this far, you know what Mayhem Mania is. Let's just go, Sorg. We've got an undercard. Uh-huh. All right. With eight matches. We're trying to fill up this super card. Yeah. It's only got one match so far. Ricochet versus Pete hey, Dunn. Hey, those are ones that have graduated so far. Graduated to the super card. All right. Um, so good on that. We got to get some of these mm-hmm. or something better than that over to this. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we can get ourselves a proper card. Okay. It, it, it's a struggle right now. Okay. Um, we've got eight Patreons who have ponied up in varying degrees. Uh, depending on the level of Patreon you are, you will be granted additional privileges in this round of Mayhem Mania. Okay. And I okay. will detail that in a second. First, I'm going to go through the rundown of the order so everybody knows where they're okay. going to be. So we run down the card. I'll go run down the card first. I just want to make sure everybody knows uh, what order they're going to be okay. going okay. in. Okay. Um, so that no one's surprised. Okay. Um, first, Ed Burke. Um, who emailed in. He's going to go first. We'll read his first. Number two will be uh, my wife, representing the uh, Matthew and Jennifer Carlins for uh, Foundation for Podcast Betterment. Uh, Tina will go third. Bobby F. J. Town will go number four. AJ Bodigity will go number five. Uh, Mad Mike will go number six. Alex will go number seven. And what? Billy will go number eight as the final uh, person. Okay. Let's go through the card real quick. All right. All right. Hold on a second. Ricochet and Pete Dunn are yep. on the super card. Here's the undercard. Yep. Yep. Wait, wait. There we go. Good job, Larry. Oh, what? Who? JD? I don't know. Was he? I've been looking for JD. Hey, if JD wants to jump in, then he's obviously eligible to jump in. Oh, boy. Uh, go through your well, thing. Well, JD, right? it's in your court. If you want in, let Sorgatron know. And you can go after Billy. All right. Um, here are the matches. We've got Bray Wyatt versus Bo Dallas. Created by... Are you on that? Hold on. Oh, sorry. The Riz. Thank you. Uh, we've got Batista versus AJ Styles versus Tommaso Ciampa versus Johnny Gargano. We have got Asuka versus Braun Strowman versus Daniel Bryan versus Drake Maverick. What the hell are we doing? I don't know. Should, uh, wait, which Strowman is that now? It's Braun Strowman. It's Braun Strowman. Okay, just want to make Braun. that clear. It's a little fuzzy after this week. Yeah. Uh, we've got uh, the iconic duo, Billy Kay and Peyton Royce versus Ember Moon and Kyrie Sane, Sailor Moon, created by Bobby F. Town. We've got Samoa Joe versus Brock Lesnar, Elias versus The Rock, Finn Balor versus Aleister Black, and John Cena and both Bella Twins versus The Undertaker and Lay Cool. <laughs> because why not? Because if we can't have a one-on-one match at WrestleMania, maybe we can have an intergender six-person tag team match. Why not, right? Um, all right, let me explain how this is uh, how the rules of this little operation are going to go, Sorg. Uh, I sent everyone a very detailed set of instructions that I don't want to forget. Um here is the gist of uh, what everyone is going to do. Um, uh, firstly, everyone who plays is going to have the option, not the requirement, but the option to auto, auto graduate, fast track any match from the undercard to the super card. No questions asked. And then if you do so, you obviously have to create a new match to fill the hole on the undercard. Uh, you could also, if you choose, uh, again, you don't have to make all these moves. These are just, you know, the maximum options to all of you. Um, you can make one of our standard moves to the undercard, um, swap a wrestler out for another wrestler or between matches or tag team for a tag team, etc. You can add someone who's not on the card uh, onto the card, um, make it an extra three way out of tag team, whatever you want to do. Or you can just kill a match entirely or create something entirely new. If you're in the Pocky Club Sorg or above, you have a fourth move option. The super subtract move, okay? Now, we've done the subtract in the past where you can get rid of a wrestler or get rid of a tag team in a match. This one goes even further because you know tonight we're going to be doing some stipulations, adding steps to the match. The super subtract move can remove stipulations from matches also, okay? Um, and because this is the last round, the Alex Cars rules will not apply. So <laughs> you can you can crush your everyone's hopes and dreams without any repercussions. And... And yeah, okay, so like I said, and you can also add a stipulation 
uh, to any match, including any match that's on the super card. So you can go wherever you want to with that. You can make it like a retirement step or a TLC, or Grape Consequences, Ultimate Deletion, whatever you want to do. Dixieland. Um, and that covers, you know, like special referee and force or anything you want to add. You can add one thing to one match. Um, so it can be a title, you know, whatever you want to do. Uh, use your imagination. It's gotten real weird in the past. I recall AJ, uh, Bo Diggity himself, once uh, creating a, uh, a double dare uh, match in which the uh, the winner was going to go to space true. camp. Every yeah, that was last good. part of that is true. I actually created a family double dare match that included, uh, I believe, is Santino, and I want to say that I wanted to have uh, Kozlov in there, but he was hurt, so he couldn't be in that. Sorry about that, Bo Diggity. All of that is true. And finally, what else was I going to say? Um, oh, also, I want to mention. Uh, I mentioned swapping between, uh, you can swap wrestlers. Uh, you can also swap stipulations. Remember, stipulations move independently of the match itself, mm -hmm. so they can stick to where they are. So if you move a match, you can actually swap a match off a stipulation, swap another match into a stipulation, Okay, which is a fun trick to play. Um, so I encourage someone to give that a try. Uh, finally, um, for the $10 level Patreons, um, something very special for Billy and for JD if they want to jump in. Um, they have a one-time use only veto move. Basically, Billy, JD, um, you can step in if you don't like the move someone's making and prevent it from happening and say, no, I refuse to let that happen. Larry, you cannot use Bart Gun in this match. Go back and try again. And they will have to go back and come up with a different move. <laughs> um, graduations are in effect and everything that comes with it. So if you graduate a match, you can hand off punishment. The punishment's right here, Sorg. Oh, no. All right. In that, in that Cleveland Cup. <laughs> in the Cleveland Cup. Yes. Eliminators are in play. Brandon still has an eliminator. If a match graduates, whoever creates it's going to get an eliminator. So, Brandon, if you want to eliminate someone from being used in Mayhem Mania, speak up now because at the end of this round, it will be, it'll be too late. Yeah. Um, is, is, is there one up to speed? Any questions? Really? Yeah, I, I think I've I, made this I, very clear. I have one question. Yeah. Um, since it will no longer apply, can we find out what fucking match was in that envelope? <laughs> I don't even think, I don't even want to get into I, it. I'm sad because I think Chad, I what, Chad had it narrowed down. He was telling us. I'll tell you something we will do. I will reveal the contents of the envelope. Tonight? Tonight. Whoa. I'm talking Whoa. Mayhem Mania oh. coming up soon on this you and other fine podcasting stations. Um, that's a good tease, right? Hey, Let's Ryan see what Seacrest after the break. After the break, <laughs> our fugal sang. All right, I'm saving my move till then. All right, sounds good. Let's find out what Ed Burke wants to do here. Sorg. I'm reading <laughs> right, this. Uh, right. his, his email is lengthy. Um, I, Edward Burke, being a sound mind of what the hell, Ed? <laughs> Do hereby transfer in whole and full my right as a Patreon member to participate in the even known is Patreon in the Bank taking place. What the fuck, Ed? Um, <laughs> what is this? I'm going to start over. Messi, is this legal? <laughs> Did you read this before me? Anybody read this before me? No. Ed, this is precious. <laughs> I, Edward James Burke, being of sound mind and body, do hereby transfer in full, in whole and full my rights as a Patreon member to participate in the event known as Patreon in the Bank taking place tonight, the 4th of April, 2018, within the premises of the Sorgatron Media Studios in the city of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, to the legal entity heretofore known as Mad Mike. These rights include all privileges due a Patreon supporter of the $1 per the discretion of the legal entity heretofore known as Mainstream Matt. These rights shall be held in trustee for the duration of one 24-hour period from the reading of this statement on the Wrestling Mayhem Show, after which they shall revert to their original owner in perpetuity. <laughs> it is so ordered on this, the 4th of April, 2018. The Thank you all ever. and the Mayhem Nation for your acceptance and patience in these troubling times. Mike uh, has been informed of my wishes in regards uh, to uh, how he should make use of these privileges. Yes, Missy. Missy's been raising her hand this whole time. This contract is invalid because today is the 3rd of April, oh, not no! the 4th. Yeah, April. Yes. Oh, no. Bum, bum, I don't yeah, say what time zone, but I know he lives. Kind of that's, like he that, was Australian, that's okay. We're just so... going to we're just gonna scratch this out and put our initials next to it. And that's it's going to be good, that's right? It's good. It's good. That's legal. It's all good. Right? Mad Mike? Yes. Is there something you want to share with us? 
Um, yeah. So Ed, uh, when I was at work today, he texted me. Um, he asked he asked me if I wanted uh, his Patreon on the bank move, and I said, "Hey, that that's up to you." And he said, I- "I'll take it if you want." Uh, so he gave me a one instruction. The instruction, uh, not nearly as eloquent as as the as the letter that that he wrote. Mm-hmm. Uh, the instruction was, "Fuck him up." <laughs> Who f- 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 fuck me up? Fuck you up. Fuck, fuck, fuck him up. I'm up. I, I, I'm, I'm I'm assuming oh. Oh, any a- anything I want to fuck up, I can fuck up. Poor Larry can't even hear what we're talking about. He's just <laughs> over here with a pen waiting. No, no, no. All right. No, 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 you need to listen to that. <laughs> so, all right, so, so Matt, what are the options that that Ed Burke had? Uh, first of all, Ed can um <clears throat> has the right to auto graduate a match if he chooses to do so. Okay. All right. Um, well, I, I will do that. I will do that. Um, we are going to auto graduate the Undertaker and the Bellas versus oh, no. Taker. Versus Taker oh and Lake no! Cool. No yes. way! We are we are auto graduating that. <laughs> wait 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 wait! Who wrote "I Walk with Bert" part what? gun on there? Who do you think? <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> we are auto graduating. Oh geez, it's on the super card. Oh no! Um, good job, Is Mike. It? Um, all Vito. right, veto. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> now you must veto. Now what? 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 Veto. Veto. All right. Let's stay. All right. wow. I'm sorry, you're going to have to auto-graduate something veto. else, Mike. You can't do honest, that. I knew, I knew that was going to happen. Billy wants it during its I way. I wanted to blow out the veto. <coughs> I, I've watched Survivor. I wanted to get rid of that immunity idol. Um, I'm auto-graduating Elias versus The Rock. Whoa. All right. I was going to say. That's, that's really appropriate brother. with what you've written there, Larry. All right. Now, uh, Mad Mike, we're going to have to create a match to uh, fill the hole here. Yes. Um. Oh. Stuff. There's been a lot of people use. I don't know why I want to see this match, but I, I want to see it just for the just for the uh, just for the sheer joy. I want to see EC, EC3 versus Drew Gulak. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why. All I right. feel like I feel like they both have excellent PowerPoint presentations. They're both you know vicious when they have to be. Jeez. Good times. I like All right. it. All right. Yes. I will take that. Very good. Um, uh-huh. Now we um, now we ask you if you would uh, like to add a stipulation to any of these uh, matches oh, here. Oh, I would. Oh, I would indeed. Um, Very good. The stipulation I'm going to add is to the aforementioned John Cena and the Bellas versus Taker and Lake Cool. That what stipulation, that, that stipulation is hair versus hair. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> hairs versus hairs? <laughs> Hair versus hair versus wait, wait. hair versus hair versus hair versus hair. So all That's the hair versus the all the hair. He hardly has hair. Um, real quick side note: Why is Drew Gulak not getting any checks from Microsoft? Exactly, because he has been promoting the hell out of PowerPoint for the last God knows how long, and he needs those Office three sixty five subscriptions. So please <laughs> buy Office three sixty five and make sure that Drew Gul and make sure to tell him that Drew Gulak sent you. Kick this transition the game is so strong. Kick, kick the door down. Kick the door down to Microsoft, S- right? Star fades. Anyways, continue. Thank you. Uh, Mad Mike, uh, well done. Wow. Uh, let's get... Thank uh, you. Wife? Wife, can you find a microphone here so you can uh, step up to the plate? She has a name, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, guys. There we go. We got to Hair versus hair. hair. Hair versus hair. All right. Ed wow. Burke, thank you for your participation. Uh, Mad Mike, as the vessel that contained Ed Burke's essence, I thank you very much. And uh, now we're going to drag uh, uh, my wife, Jennifer. Uh, uh, by the, the way, we're gonna have to find her. A- I just want to give a shout out. Alex Miller is uh, heading now. He says he's off to New Orleans. <laughs> so See you down there, Alex. See you down there. Look so us you, up. Well, not me, but you, these guys. All right. All right. How, how are we going to? Okay. Um. Hi, honey. Get close to the mic. Get get on there. Hello. Honey, Hi. would you like to auto-graduate one of these fine uh, matches here to the super card? Valor Black. Valor Black is graduating to the super card. There See, there we go. Good job. Thanks for taking my move, Jen. Oh, I should also um, point out who got the um, reward for uh, graduating uh, 
Elias versus The Rock. Uh, who created oh, that who, match? Who created that match? Oh, you created that match. Well, that's good. You did it. That was Larry. It wasn't. And I know you don't want to punish Jen Ooh. because she's so nice, but you have some punishment you can hand out to one of our other players. You think about that, and you get an eliminator. You can eliminate or someone else uh, from not being used. I recommend Bart Gunn. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah. uh, and since uh, Bobby, Bobby, you were the one who created Balor versus Black. Mm-hmm. All right, same deal for for you too. You can hand out some punishment to one of our other players, and you can um, uh, use an eliminator if you choose to do so. All can right, I back. Use an eliminator. What's that? Can I use an eliminator right now? Yeah. All right, let's have it. What oh. you got? I don't think he's even on the card, but I'm gonna I'm gonna eliminate the hell out of Randy Orton. Whoa! Oh, bravo! Bravo! <laughs> Eliminator out of He's nowhere. Out of the card. For those of you who do, who are not aware, one time I actually sent Bobby a Randy Orton action figure I still have it. so that Randy Orton would appear out of nowhere at his <laughs> house. I still have it. He's that back there. That was absolutely worth ten dollars. It was absolutely. Worth uh, I would also like to remind everyone that. Um, Mad Mike, uh, previously on Mayhem Mania, Mad Mike used his eliminator to eliminate Kid Rock. <laughs> so, Larry? Issue some punishment. I still stand by okay, that. Okay. Um, not to Jen, right? No. Okay. No. Hold that thought then. Uh, we're gonna See, get that was going to make my I told you it was going to get messy, Sorg. Um, <laughs> Kid Rock for Randy Orton. <laughs> would you like to eliminate I, anyone I, before Jen creates I'm a match? I'm sorry, Todd. <laughs> okay, you're good. good. Jen, Enjoy. please create a match to fill this hole in our super car or our undercard. There must be someone else you'd like to see in a match other than Abs Balor. I mean, Finn Balor. Are you really looking at his eyes? What? <laughs> his abs are glorious. Glorious. Well, that's okay. Uh, no obligation. You don't have to do that. Really wasn't you really weren't paying attention. What do you think about that? Would you like to add a stipulation to any of these matches that you've made so far? VLC. VLC. Oh, don't hey, worry. VLC. Someone will be taking care of that <laughs> in due time. Hey. <laughs> with Bray and Bo. Yes. Can I have their dad be a referee? I, I love it. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Uh, wait, 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 wait. It. Wait, wait. Which iteration of their dad? IRS. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That is the correct answer. I don't know if we're going to get a Michael <laughs> Wall Street, where we're going to get a, you know, when he was like the boatman with Kevin Sullivan or something, varsity <laughs> club. Mike yeah, Mike. I feel I feel like if we reenact this match, it has to happen on April 15th, though. Actually, you know, tax day is two days later this year. It's April 17th, but good oh, call. No. Birthday. Special ref IRS. Good call. Um, we'll just leave that slot open. That'll be fine. It won't hurt anything, right? You should really create another match. Just, just come up with something. I'm begging you. Surely there's someone you'd like else you'd care to see in a, in a, in a about match. Velveteen you want me Dream. to create one? Why are you looking at me like that? I, I just want you to make a match. You know what? Yeah, let's find out if Missy wants to make a match. Missy, you want to make a match? No, I'm going to pass. Thank you. Sorgi? <laughs> uh, um, hey! <laughs> let's ask this guy to make a match. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> What's your name again? <laughs> it doesn't matter. He, came, he, he, he did come in late. <laughs> That's the I, ultimate. I'd like to see, see what he what, what he comes up okay, with. Okay, what's the cho- the choices off the board here? No, yeah, no, just, no, you just make... don't use anyone who's already on the card. Yeah, yeah. And you've got to operate within the bounds of this current reality. So okay. don't go pulling anyone injured or dead. Oh, put me on the spot. Sorry. Um, who? Oh yeah, I, yeah neither. I'm gonna say Brain Strowman. <laughs> Brain Strowman. Ah, right. Brain Strowman. Right. I'll allow right. it. Yeah, you allow it. <laughs> let's like let's putting, go. Uh, let's, Tiger Mask and Eddie Guerrero on the same card. Let's go. Brain <laughs> Strowman versus Eugene. I'll allow it. Wow. <laughs> you, uh, Eugene, I saw last year wrestle doing very well. Yeah. So uh, I see him on. I follow him on. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a wheel. Media. See. Political views though. <laughs> Oh, don't follow the public overviews of any wrestler. That's not a good idea. If you want to stay a wrestling fan, don't find out their political no, views. No, 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 no. Or a lot of their views. Great job, a lot honey. Of times. Okay. Thanks. Put her there. Proud of you. Good job. <laughs> All right. What's next? Um, How many moves do we have left? <laughs> too many. How many hours are we going to be here? 
Too many. It's Tina. Be five. Tina. Hello. Hey, how you doing? I'm as from Washington State. Tina, would you like yes. to auto graduate a match from the undercard to the supercard? I do. I do. What's it um, gonna be? Let's. Let's auto graduate Sailor Moon versus the iconic duo. All right. Whoa. Yeah. Bobby gets another reward, another punishment, another eliminator. Bobby, anybody else on your hit list? No? Um, I, I think I'm he's thinking. thinking. He's stuck. Can I do Randy Orton again? <laughs> yeah, sure. Double, double eliminator no, Randy kidding, Orton. Eliminate him uh, for next year. Can I, can I save it for my turn? Yeah, sure. That's I'm fine. Thinking. Go ahead and think. But if you guys want to hand out punishment, move now. I mean, I know you don't want to give it to yeah. Tina because she's so nice. But oh, I, I'd like to hand out punishment. Oh yeah, you can't, want Larry. To, not, to, not to Tina. No, he, no I, I oh, like can to hand it out to Bobby. Okay, we'll give it to no. Bobby. Oh. Bobby, you're going to get punishment on your turn. On my turn? Thanks. Yeah, it's going to be great. You'll it's see. It's fine. My two matches, matches already graduated, so okay, I don't really good care. Deal. <laughs> Tina, I need you to create a match to fill the hole in the undercard. Okay, well, we don't have enough carnage on this card. So, oh, like I going? would like to <laughs> I would like to recommend the Bludgeon Brothers. Oh. Great now I got to spell Bludgeon. The Authors of Pain. Ooh. I like it. Mm, I feel like I, there's I, another team I, coming. Is there another team coming on this? No, just those two. Awesome. That's all I can think of right War now. Machine. War Machine. <laughs> Hush. Excuse me. Hush. I'm sorry. Get your own move. <laughs> I have a cough. Uh, we oh, good stuff, Tina. You want to add a step to any of these? Sorry. Hell in a cell for that match. You got wow. it. Wow. <laughs> I see. I see. We've gone to full blown car crash. The match. <laughs> <laughs> um, Matt, uh, I believe Brandon has an eliminator that he needs to cash in. Is that right? I believe so. He he has dropped one in the chat room. If we would like to share it, oh, no. what's he got? Uh, Brandon uh, from the KC would like to eliminate Baron Corbin. Oh, oh, oh he's so young, Marco. The, that torso the lone, to you. The lone wolf Poor is Marco. watching Mayhem Mania from 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 home. The don't, lone wolf will be in the crowd. Don't tell anyone that I said this, but Baron Corbin, he's a nice guy. He is a nice guy. Tina, thanks. Mm -hmm. Let's move on. Oh, Bobby. Oh, time yeah. to do punishment. Hey, guess what? I'm going to use my punishment on Larry. Larry doesn't get a turn. Oh, Larry doesn't have a no, move. No, no, no. That's, that's too far. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> as much fun as that would be. No, I tell you what would have been cool, though. If someone well, would have tried, well, if Bobby would have tried to eliminate Randy, and if Billy would have held on to his veto, Billy could have vetoed okay. the eliminator. But you know what? JD is still out there. Maybe JD will come well, to the then rescue. I have another. And I could have done it get again. Mike, get on my mic. I'm, I'm going to hold off and not punish Bobby. I'm going to punish Mad Mike instead. Ah, thank you. <laughs> wait, 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 I really want... Wait, you know what? Mad Mike has already been running <laughs> no, wild. Yes, it was. It was, it was, was already contract. agreed. No, nah, that, that seems right. okay. I'll allow that. All right. All right. All right. All right. Thanks for the You're birthday dead. present, fucko. Hey. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm kidding, Larry. I'll since, take it. Since my two matches were already graduated tonight... I'm going to graduate Tina's match that she just made. Oh, oh the Bludgeon Brothers you, and the AOP. You're welcome. It was yeah, a great match. Sell. That's a great match. Okay. Tina gets I am Tina to... gets reward. Tina, you can uh, eliminate her and punish uh, someone if you so choose. So uh, There's not many people left to play, so uh, don't think about it for too long. Bobby, if you thought of anybody else, you want to eliminate her while we're on the topic. Save it. And you also have to create a match to uh, fill this hole in the end. Yeah, I know. I'm thinking. As if we don't have enough to do. It's a big mm -hmm. roster. Okay, I, I got a match. I got a match. Which guy? Velveteen Dream yeah. versus The Miz. Ooh. Ooh. I like it. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. And I'm going to add a stipulation to a match. I can do that, right? Yes, you can. To yes, Finn can. Balor and Aleister Black, I'm going to make it a Buried Alive match. Oh. Wow. Hmm. Hmm. And I think that's all I got. I think that's all now. you got, Bobby. I got that eliminator in my pocket still. Yeah, well, you can uh, jump in here anytime you want. And, uh, 
Let's see. Larry, would you <laughs> like to eliminate <laughs> someone? I would like to. I would like to eliminate Velveteen Dream. You can't eliminate what? Velveteen you Dream. Can't. He's on the card. He's already on the card. You waited too long, Larry. Yeah, I tried, Billy. I'm trying I to help him get his match. I appreciate it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let's see, where are we? How are we doing? We're doing okay, Sorg. Oh, wow. We're we're past halfway. We're moving on to <gasps> Bo Diggity. Hey. Woo! What's up, Bo Diggity? All right. Would you care Buckle to up, uh <laughs> would you care to graduate a match, Bo Diggity? Uh, yeah, I need to go ahead and eliminate a match here. And ooh, what is still available that I don't care? Oh, there it is. John Cena and Taker. Get the fuck out of here. Nobody wants to watch Taker anymore. All right. Let's get rid of that. I've been on the get the hell out of here Undertaker train for how many years, gentlemen and ladies? Many. Stipulation many stick. Years. I remind you, uh, Bo Diggity, that when you create the match here to replace John Cena, the John Cena Taker deal, this will be a hair hey, hey, hey. versus hair match. Oh, this will be a hair versus hair match? Yep. Yeah, this, this is a stipulate uh, hair versus ready? hair match <laughs> attached AJ. to this slot. Uh, AJ, yes, you want me to do you another favor? Yes, Bobby. <laughs> Undertaker eliminator. Uh, no, it doesn't it matter. It doesn't matter. The match oh, is gone. Oh, Bobby, no. No, he's gone. Don't Did care. Bobby just There's eliminate no, no, the Undertaker? That's, that's, oh, no. that's an assisting to make sure assist. Undertaker doesn't come back. So yeah. Bobby oh. just used his eliminator on the Undertaker. Yes, yes. All right. Yeah, they, they just wow. double teamed the Undertaker that's out of Mayhem Mania. Oh. <laughs> yeah. What's wow. Like? Well, yeah. that's wow. the end of that. Oh, okay. Crazy. Dead man walking. Dong. Ooh. Ooh. Would you guys, which, do you want to know how a hair versus hair match gets more fun? Huh. <laughs> Don't do it. Oh, God. I do it. You, I give you this year's version of the double dare match. <laughs> I've been thinking about this. I broke things down. And I give you Battle of the WWE Network Stars. Now, follow me here. Oh, oh no. <sighs> On Team Raw. We have Alexa Bliss, Nia Jax, Bailey, and Sasha. Oh, no. On Team SmackDown, we have Charlotte, Carmella, Natalia, and Becky. In three events, uh, that would be the running relay, the obstacle course, and finally, <laughs> tug of war. And wait a minute, wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Who, who was on the second team? You got to give me the names uh, on the second team again. Uh, Charlotte, Carmella, Natalia, and Becky. And uh, losing team loses all their hair. Oh no. <laughs> That's how you make hair versus hair match more fun. So you added a stipulation to a stipulation. So there was already a stip. There was already a stipulation on this match. Mm -hmm. So AJ has, or I'm sorry, Bo Diggity has added a second stipulation. Yes, so it's a yeah. battle of the network stars hair versus hair match. Is that what we're? Yep. Basically, okay. Yep. Bliss, Naya, wow. Bailey, Sasha versus Charlotte, Carmella, Natalia, Becky. Yep. Got it. Okay. Wow. Oh, wow. wow. That's going to be a lot of weaves falling. <laughs> <laughs> Edges are going to be going. It's going to be a lot of weaves dropping. How dangerous wow. extension is best, sir. Man, you're going to put uh, you're going to put hair and makeup out of out of business in WWE. On well, one of the only, shows. Only on one of the on shows. One brand. <laughs> only on one brand. Is it, is you it? know what? Sam Scott's going to be looking elsewhere for work. I mean, listen, how do you get back at them? Why at the one pay-per-view a year where Rod SmackDown go head-to-head? -head? That's bragging rights. <laughs> yeah, it's only one time. It's only one time. It's, it's only, only one time a year except for the exact next month. Yeah. 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 It's fine. One time to rule them all. Except Royal Bo Rumble, Survivor Series. <laughs> Bo Diggity. All the pay-per-views pay now. Yeah. All the pay you, you've, done done us a, you've done us a great service, Bo Diggity. I, listen, I am only here for, I am here for comedy, laughs, and giggles. Uh, and also, if I had an eliminator, I would have used it on Batista. Because, come on, if you go, if you're going to boo him at at the Rumble, you have to maintain the energy. Everyone, maintain yeah. the energy. Wait, AJ, what if he came out with a giant tree? Would you cheer him then? Because I nope. do. Keep I would cheer him. Batista, you're a movie star now. Keep it moving. Okay. Um, all right. That brings us to Mad Mike. Hold on. Yes. I have. I have. Oh. I have an eliminator. First that I'd like to give, and then punishment to Mad Mike. Um, wait, wait. I, Mad Mike I'm, is I'm already, already being punished, punished. so nope, this is. Not I, I, I mean, we can only punish him one time. We can't do it more than once. Who are you eliminating? I'm eliminating John Cena. Okay. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I got to run down the list of people who've been eliminated real quick, so that. everyone's all oh up to speed. Oh my god! I was the eliminator list. 
right now. Oh, this is the best oh, list of people who've been eliminated. It's another WrestleMania. It's practically another <laughs> WrestleMania. Uh, the eliminator list is is Kid Rock, Randy Orton, <laughs> The Undertaker, John Cena, and Baron Corbin. <laughs> supposed to be fun guys <laughs> <laughs> now, it says the punishment yet here we are okay um Roman Reigns. <laughs> he's not on the card and he's not a threat to get on back on it all right no 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 can I, can I call time out here real quick sure that sounds like a pretty rad uh, fatal four-way with a really shitty ring announcer <laughs> 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 Maria Menounos is the ring announcer. Maria yeah. is the uh, ring announcer. So, so here's no, the deal, Kid Mike. Rock is the ring announcer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, and he introduces the match by saying, "My name is Kid." Oh, that's it. So here's the deal, Mad Mike. Uh, yeah. You have been um, you've been uh, earmarked for punishment, uh-huh. probably deserved because you've been running wild a little bit this year on Mayhem Mania. I was um, the only one who graduated a match. Here's the punishment. <laughs> You must use a name drawn from uh, what I'm referring to as the Jar of the Unloved. This is a which, which is wait, which is appropriate <coughs> since it's a, a Cleveland, Cleveland cup. cup. Yeah, <laughs> this is uh, in this cup. Um, before the, today's round began, I I took the names of every former world champion in WWE, men and women, and put their names into this cup. Now, it is uh come to pass that uh, some of these names in this cup have already been used during this <laughs> round. So if we pull okay. that name, we'll just pull another one until we come up with one that Mad Mike has to use. So, uh, okay. So- all right. All right. That's fine. That's fine. Just to make this easier on you, um, if it was my choice for your punishment, I was going to make you use a McMahon in a match. Oh, no. I'd, I'd, have, so- I'd have a match. Because that's too easy. At, at this point, I'm <laughs> yeah. in nuclear mode. I'm in fuck everybody mode. Me? I, I gotta do this? Yeah, let's let you do oh, it. Here. Do you want to climb um, over here? Let, I, oh, no. There's a lot of... There's a, let, 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 let Missy do it. Let oh, Missy good idea. Let, yeah, here. She's she's impartial. Missy, please pull a name from this cup. <laughs> Thank you for miking the cup. All the way down. All the way, baby. All that's way professional. Let's, do it. let's see what we whoa, got. Whoa, hey, hey. Here we go. Let's see what we got. Whoa. What you got? What you got? Yes. Who is it? Who is it? Jeff Hardy. Whoa. Wait, wait what? Jeff Hardy? Hardy? Wait. He's good. Hardy. Jeff he Hardy is injured. He hasn't been cleared. Jeff Hardy is life. Give me a rolling. I think he's cleared. I, I don't know. Jeff Hardy is injured and also probably not able to travel. Pull another name. He's just not able to is he in jail? He a- I don't know. That's, he's that's under investigation. He's under yeah. investigation. <laughs> he may not be able to leave St. Lines. He's not going down. 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 You know what, Mike? You get what you deserve. That's not true, actually. He's he's making an, he's making personal appearances down there. So. Uh, All right. Well, you know what? Everyone seems to think Jeff Hardy's not clear, so we have pulled another name. Yeah. Missy, what's the other name? Big Show. <laughs> have okay, fun. Done. All right. I got this. <laughs> All right. All right. Make a move. <laughs> Actually, do you want to auto graduate anything? It's going down. I'm yelling, Big Show. Right. Yeah. Um, I, I do want to. <laughs> that was the best. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I want to auto graduate. Uh, where, where, where are the undercard matches right now? Because, oh, um, I'll auto graduate uh, Joe and Lesnar. All right. We're going to auto graduate Joe and Lesnar. Who created that yeah. match, Sorgi? I don't know anymore. Uh, <laughs> give me a sec. Okay. All right, man, Mike, uh, create a match uh, to fill the spot. Well, you just uh, cover up I Walk with Bart Gunn. That was, that was, that was now Farnsworth. Now I don't have to use okay, Big good. Show for my create a match, correct? You've got to use him. So yeah, if you're going to use him here. Use him a, I can use him in a regular move. Right. You, yeah. You have, before we move on to the next person, the words Big Show must <laughs> leave your mouth. All right? Oh, no, no. They will. They will. I know exactly what I'm going to do. A big show. Okay. All right. Okay. Create your match. I know exactly what I'm going to do. A big show. I was waiting for him to just create him. I was waiting, honestly, waiting for Matt to just create a match. Just go. It's it's Hogan versus Rock. Big show. And then we'll <laughs> move on. All right. Uh, so the match I'm going to create is a match that um, has been um, a year and a half in the making, guys. Um, King Maxwell versus Lord Wolfgang. <laughs> Mike, <laughs> what? What? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna let, I'm and gonna I've been waiting, show. and I've been waiting, and ahead. Alex Cars knows better than anyone else how long I've been waiting to use this line. Mad Mike, there is no <laughs> way on God's green earth the Louisiana State Athletic Commission clears <laughs> King Maxwell to wrestle in a match. 
Oh, um, no. I'm sorry. He is a raw superstar. No pile drivers or four. They won't even allow. <laughs> now wait, hold on, hold on. He was All not right, in a match. Mike, can I can I offer a suggestion? I'm not saying you have to use this. I'm just offering it as a suggestion. That's fine. So you want King Maxwell? Mm-hmm. Can Big Show be the ring? <laughs> 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 Let's take it to a boat. I'm I'm not saying Big Show's a dilapidated boat, but I'm saying he's a he's a very small human being. And these are very small children. It's like, oh it's like one of those things you put on the water, and when somebody jumps on it, the other side like catapults the other person in the it's air. Like, it's yeah, like your heavyweights. As a as a yeah, as a parent, that's an yeah. extremely dangerous thing. As somebody who's watched videos on YouTube, it's hilarious. Um, that guy so, catapult. I I mean, I mean, I'm on board with that. I mean, if you need to use Big Show and well, you're I trying mean, to have children wrestle, <laughs> Big Show is the ring works. And then think about it. Think about the safety features. Big Show's lo- got long arms. He could just catch him if they fall off the ring, aka his chest. Tell me King Maxo versus on. Wolfgang. Big Show is the ring. Mike, Mad Mike, thank you for your service to this to your country. <laughs> okay, now that was the match I made. Now I get to do some other fun stuff. You just did a stipulation. <laughs> you did your match to fill the hole. You're done. No, no. What else do you what think else, you yeah, get to do? What else does he do? I am five dollar level, motherfucker. Yeah, and you decided. Five time, five okay, time, wait, wait, hold on. Five time. Um, I'm going to yes, subtract he can still do a, a move. He could do a I'm going move to subtract or subtract a wrestler something. from a match. All right, yeah, so you can do that. You can subtract a wrestler from a match. I'm taking out Drake Maverick. Ah. All right, because Rockstar Spud doesn't deserve that. Oh, <laughs> he doesn't. He's not ready for Oscar. All right, that's actually and not a bad move. That's uh, he wasn't ready for King Maxwell. To review, that means the match is now just I Braun Strowman, Daniel Bryan, and Oscar. I like mm-hmm. it. Pay to see that. <laughs> uh, I gotta be really honest, uh, Bobby. For the first time in a very long time, fuck you, Bobby. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Um, all right, What'd thank I you, do? Mad Mike. You made me laugh again. <laughs> um, where's Alex? Alex is here. Good God! All right, oh, boy. Alex Cars <laughs> occupy pro wrestling Power the car in fifteen minutes to the Smarks. Yes, get all your plugs out. <laughs> Alex, would I'm you like to the floor to Tina? She wants to speak. What's up, Tina? I actually want to use Eliminator first before Alex goes. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> do it, oh, Tina. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. I want to do a service to Mayhem Mania. Yeah, that's what and everyone says. <laughs> and eliminate a McMahon. Oh, okay. Ooh. Acceptable. Right. More, more, more specific because we don't need to see any. The anybody jump off any high stuff, Shane McMahon. Oh, All right. Just, All right. I think you were going to say Linda. <laughs> Linda McMahon. Like, I, so I we almost, don't need anyone on Trump's cabinet. In I, I, I almost yeah. legitimately booked Linda McMahon versus King Maxwell. <laughs> I <laughs> almost <laughs> did that. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, my God. But now I'm getting some ideas. Tina, thanks. <laughs> Thank you for doing that. Alex? Okay. Would you like to, to uh, great, graduate any of these fine matches to the super card? Wait, do we have still have room? I I actually oh no really wait one need... two three four five six all right we got wait how many are on this way one two three four five. okay we got two slots left go ahead Alex I right, hold it up so I you can see on the feed there you go I I could honestly use some help in knowing what we still have on the card because I sure. lost track yeah well, I would well, love to happen. run down the, right, the card as it stands right now. First of all, uh, here's the undercard as it stands right now. Uh, Bray Wyatt versus Bo Dallas, special guest referee, IRS. Beautiful. <laughs> Batista versus AJ Styles versus Tommaso <laughs> Ciampa versus Johnny Gargano. Asuka versus Braun Strowman versus Daniel Bryan. The Velveteen Dream versus The Miz. King Maxwell versus Wolfgang. The Big Show is The Ring. EC3 <laughs> versus Drew Gulak. Brain Strowman versus Eugene. And finally, Battle of the Network stars, hair versus hair match. <laughs> <clears throat> Alexa Bliss and Nia Jackson Bailey and Sasha Banks versus Charlotte and Carmella and Natalia and Becky Lynch. 
I will remind okay. you the stipulation sticks. So be very careful with the King Maxwell versus Wolfgang match. Alex is like, can you repeat that? <laughs> <laughs> I almost did because I lost track so hard. Okay. Um, you do not have to auto graduate anything. You don't have to do that. So. Oh no, I'm going to. All right, let's do it. <laughs> I'm going to auto graduate the 2018 Double Dare Challenge match. <laughs> Because the world really needs that. I agree. That Let's put is, it right that over is there. The eight, oh, yeah, that is the eight girl tag. Weevil mania. <laughs> Can we at least donate to wigs? <laughs> yes. 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 Now, oh, hold on. Uh, can we? Can we have that match sponsored by Locks of Love? Yeah. I I just I f- I'm fine with that. I will allow that. Uh, <laughs> As a kindness. Yeah. I mean. Uh, uh, I'm just thinking of no everyone in that uh, match. Alex, here, let's um, yeah, Alex, get your brain yeah. working on creating a match to fill this uh, open spot here. <laughs> okay, quick cl- clarification: Can you add a stipulation to the match you're putting in its place? Yes. I, I made goodness. I made big I made Big Show the ring. So. Okay, I just wanted to clarify because this was a match that I tried to get and I had to run it by mainstream Matt several times. And I got the athletic commission card at one point. Oh no! So what I'm going to add in its play in the in the undercard is a battle of the JJs. Go double on. J J E double F J A double R E double T Jeff Jarrett versus the real. E. You didn't put enough E on that E, but go ahead. Versus you didn't laugh. You didn't laugh. You have to laugh. Let the man Ain't work. He great. The versus the real double J, Jesse James, <laughs> with special guest referee, the real real double J, Jarius Robertson, the 2018 Warrior Award recipient. Wow. Wait, what? I just my power went out. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> my monitor went out. Bobby, Bobby. You, you, miss, you miss you miss something weird heard, happening. I just heard Jarius Robinson. I'm like, what? <laughs> what I miss? He's a special referee for Jeff Jarrett versus Jesse James. Well, that makes sense. Uh, I'm sorry, you missed you missed the correct special guest referee, which is the original J- JJ. Uh, that would be JJ Dillon, who is still alive, yeah. just confirmed. <laughs> Wasn't sure. <laughs> Just sure. Did you take Snopes on that? Uh, he is seventy-five years old, and I don't necessarily know that he's really in in tune with what's going on. But I feel like JJ Dillon could still yeah. wrestle or could still referee a match. JJ Dillon is fine. JJ Dillon is alive. Today um, we learned. <laughs> That's what I learned. Um, Alex, <laughs> you can make a standard move to the uh, undercard if you wish, and I re- will remind you as a. Um, Five dollar Patreon su- supporter, you have the the super subtract option in your uh, in your toolbox here. So uh, if you want to make a change to the undercard here, please do so. Hmm. 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 We're almost home free, Sorg. Only Billy's left after this, and he does not look happy. <laughs> Fuck you, Mad Mike. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I'm going to. Mm. This is tougher than I thought it would be. Mm. 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 You know, Sorg, now's a nice time to mention uh, after this tight's uh, mayhem video, <laughs> we're going to have a very special, very special edition of uh, Talking Mayhem Mania. Um, we're going to break this thing down. Could go. <laughs> Probably could go like two or three hours tonight, so just uh, make sure you clean the servers out I'm before we sure, start. I'm pretty okay, sure producer have, Missy will kill you if that happens. Have, We're gonna stay on the air until a, Missy murders me on yes, live yes, podcast. Yes, yes. <laughs> Alex is quick, ready. Hey, All right, Alex. I have a quick question. All right, is is Matt Hardy on the card right now? Nope. I'm going to add Woken Matt Hardy to King Maxwell versus Wolfgang. <laughs> Correct. With Big Show as the ring. Wonderful. Oh wow. 
You did so, that, Mike. And that somebody could you. make that yeah. an ultimate deletion, too. <laughs> <laughs> it's in Billy's oh, hands man. now. Good job, Good Alex. Job, Oh, make that we all see. I still make have, that we all see. Make I that still we all have see. A You've that. used your stipulation. You used we your stipulation see. when you put the special referee on the Double J versus Double J match. That was your step. The Louisiana oh, State Athletic I, Commission has ruled. Alex, you still there? Special referees are a stipulation. Oh. But don't worry, Billy's still to come. I'm sure he's. Very enthusiastic about the a WLC match. I'm very happy right now. Uh, just just as a side note, J.J. Dillon retired from the Delaware State Department of Corrections with 13 years of service in December 2016. I oh, thought geez. you were going to say J.J. Dillon's just died. No, no, no. He's a oh, God. He did, he did an interview with ESPN last year. He's <laughs> fine. He could totally read that news. match. He is fine. As of last year. As of last year. I can independently well, confirm he's fine. All right. Um. That's a bummer to hear that I can't add a WLC. That's kind of the main reason I came on tonight. Oh, well. Alex, you still did great work. Yes. You, you should, should be proud of yourself. Billy? Let him see the undercard. Let's see if he wants to auto-graduate anything. Um, no. No, you're good? <coughs> wow. I want to subtract. We're going to use the super subtract. The Miz out of the Velveteen Dream match. Okay. So we're swapping Miz out and we're swapping in. I, I was Are we just going to have Dream like in the ring by himself? No, we're going to go with uh, Adam Cole, baby. All right. All right. All right. All right. I can do. I can deal with that. All right. Oh, uh, Tom was saying that you should have had Jason Jordan as the referee. <laughs> oh, no, not bad. There's more JJs than you realize in the There's uh, more JJs. Okay, There's a lot of now, JJs. Um, now we're going to go with the, um, the stipulation, right? I change the match, right? What was that? I, the subtract is the move. I can I can add to a match, right? That was in my Twitter. You swap. You swapped out the Dream, or I'm sorry, you swapped out the Miz for Adam Cole. For Adam Cole, that was the standard move. So now we're on to the stipulation. BLC. 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 I want to, I want to change the match. Can I do that? You know what? I'll let you do it. Okay. <laughs> I don't care about the stipulation, but I, I, get, I got another match in mind. Okay. I want to change the... Because I'm from West Virginia. We don't fight family. <laughs> so we're not going to have King Maxwell and Wolfgang and Matt Hardy against each other. They're going to be on the same team. Uh-huh. And we're going to add Rebby to that to that team. Okay. Against I, I like, against against, like against Daniel Bryan. Whoa, 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 whoa. Bryan's used. Bryan's, Bryan's used. Bryan. Where? He's right there. Oh, He's in the three-way. Okay. How much weight can the Big Show support? Oh, no, <laughs> <laughs> that's true. I mean, okay, that's okay. That's okay. That's, that's okay. That one's not going to <laughs> Okay, the other one's going to be. He's pushing way up against the, the envelopes right now. The other team's going to be the Miz, Maurice. Monroe Sky. Oh, jeez. All on top of the big show. That's not how the. That's not how little babies work. Though. <laughs> it is now. By the way, okay. shout out. To, by the way, uh, hey, uh, Miz. Just this is to me to you because I know you watch Mayhem. I know you watch the Mayhem show every week. Uh, to dad me, bro. <laughs> I like, Todd, were now you wait, trying to visualize wait. that the the, the, the you, kids in that one? If you yes. two dad someone, don't you have to use a Paw Patrol logo? No, when you two dad someone, you fist bump each other from a distance because you're too busy chasing small humans. <laughs> <laughs> you just do this and keep moving. Jeez. Just that remember, explains, Miz has gotten barfed on in the last 24 hours. That explains a lot of what I've seen at work. <laughs> That's not even his kid. Absolutely. No. <laughs> Rumors. Uh, right. Stipulation, Billy? We all see. We all see on top of the big show? Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. Wow. Wonderful. This match may single-handedly keep Toys R Us in business. <laughs> can, we, can we make James Ellsworth the ladder? <laughs> You know let's not get know. out of it. Let's Somebody not get ridiculous. Uh, this match you're talking about like, now we need that to win the poll. Oh, yeah. No, no. I saw that. I, I'm seeing Alex that says he'd like to pick uh, uh, Petey Williams versus Pen Pentagon Dark. 
with the stiff, uh, uh, nothing but pile drivers, power bombs, and flips off the ropes. <laughs> that, that <laughs> That's just, already it, happening in an indie show. <laughs> yeah, it's already it's already almost indie any indie show. <laughs> Where's That's the other board, break, dude? That's Joey Janela's spring break. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Uh, I just I just had a wonderful mental picture of uh, that that match turning into a, a match where Big Show is the pole and a bunch of very small children trying to climb seven feet <laughs> into the air to get like, literally anything. Doesn't matter what it is. It would be like Shadow of Colossus, the game. Yes. <laughs> All right. What the hell do we have left All right, here? Here's what we got. Yes. All right, we're in good shape. Wait. One, two. Why does it still say I walk with Mark Gunn? Four, five, six. Is that lies? A- All right, Never here's the g- got good news. Yes, got good news. Good news, and I've got good news. Good news. Okay, Supercar's got seven matches on it. All right, we're going for eight. Yes. So I'm going to tell you the seven matches here, and then we'll do the eight on the undercard. We're going to have a vote on the eight on the undercard to determine the eighth match. Okay. On the Supercard. Right. Here's the seven right. matches on the Supercard. Congratulations, everybody. Ricochet versus Pete Dunne. Mm-hmm. Elias versus The Rock. Battle of the Network Stars, Hair versus Hair, Four Girls versus Four Other Girls, <laughs> Buried Alive, Finn Balor versus Alistair Black, The Iconic Duo versus Sailor Moon, The Bludgeon Brothers versus The Authors of Pain, Hell in a Cell, and Samoa Joe versus Brock Lesnar. Jeez. That's all right. Jeez. Okay, and then one of these eight matches will be voted to be the final match on the WLC. Super Card. WLC. And the WLC. options WLC. will be WLC. Bray Wyatt versus WLC. Bo Dallas, Special Referee, IRS. Batista versus AJ Styles versus Tommaso Ciampa versus Johnny Gargano. Asuka versus Braun Strowman versus Daniel Bryan. The Velveteen Dream versus Adam Cole. Matt Hardy, King Maxwell, and Wolfgang versus Miz, Maurice, and Baby Monroe? Yes. We all see Big Show Delicious. is the ring. <laughs> Of all the things I thought I would write on little pieces of paper tonight, Big Show is the ring. I didn't really I see that coming. Wait. I can't wait till Alex does the graphics. I know. <laughs> um, EC3, vers- EC3 versus Drew Gulak, Brain Strowman versus Eugene, and uh, Jeff Jarrett versus uh, the real Double J, Jesse James, with the special guest referee, uh, Jerry's last name escapes me. And I'm sorry, I misspoke. Not Alex. Uh, Antonio Garza has been doing the graphics for the entire uh, Mayhem Mania uh, this year and past. Uh, so shout out to the Wrestling Revolution. Um, uh, Matt, Matt, we also someone in the first- chat oh, room. Oh, 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 Matt, Matt. Someone in the chat room suggested that the eighth match on the Supercard be the match that's in my dream match mystery envelope yeah tom i'm sorry that's not possible one of those people is on the card so i'm done goodbye all right man man we got so many people but i want to know real quick what's lightning the, round what's the eighth match we'll we will out. determine no, we'll, it by we'll a vote we'll on the out. wrestling mayhem show what facebook group reaction? what did you learn from wrestling this week billy quick 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 Go, come back to me. What'd you learn? Uh, Larry, what'd you learn from wrestling this week? I learned that, um, oh shit, what's his name? Tell me his name. Zack Ryder has a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> that was in our video on Instagram. Yeah. Uh, Matt Carlins, what'd you learn from wrestling? Big show can be a ring. <laughs> <laughs> Todd DeFagio of Idiot Radio, the Double D Show. What'd you learn this week? Puppets are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> hey, find out why I'm Mayhem Gold. Uh, AJ... Bo diggity, what did you learn from wrestling this week? Uh, Japanese death matches are still alive and well in stardom, and I watched somebody almost die. So, yeah, that was pretty great. Holy crap. Tina Keys, what did you learn from wrestling this week? Uh, WrestleMania should be sponsored by 5-Hour Energy instead of Snickers. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Uh, no, because yeah, you, need eight, you need eight hours to watch WrestleMania. Quick, quick pro tip. Stretch. Hydrate. You're gonna need to take a pee break. Sadly, the Undertaker's not here to provide that this year. So he was eliminated. Randy Orton. <laughs> Randy Orton. Uh, Mad Mike, what'd you learn? I learned that no one has sprung for the Undertaker DLC package yet. <laughs> Bobby of J Town, what'd you learn? I'm gonna pass mine to Smarky. El Generico's alive. <laughs> <laughs> Alex Cars, what'd you learn? I learned that I oh sorry I learned that John Cena is going to call out the Undertaker at Evolve and Progress this week. Billy, what'd you learn? Ronda Rousey don't know how to go through a table. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> and I learned in the past week that uh, 
uh, how to use Twitch. That's wrestling related now, isn't it? Uh, so, hey guys, it's uh, WrestleMania week, and again, there is a Wrestling Mania. I thought you passed. No. Missy in the chat. What are you doing? What are Missy you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? You better not be ending the show yet. No, I haven't. I, I was going to do the rundown. Where do you think you're going? <laughs> I was gonna say, shout out to IndieWrestling.us. Is the world round or flat? Uh, what? <laughs> uh, check out, check out. Well, first material first. Yeah. Check out all the interviews. We just have had an interview with uh, uh, Jamie Frost, who was uh, kicked in the head by Oscar last week in in uh, Cleveland. Uh, we did that this morning. Uh, you, you can check it out. The video is actually already. Uh, the the raw over on IndieWrestling.us's uh, Facebook page and also on our Twitch channel for IndieWrestling.us. It'll be on podcast form and videos uh, all over the Wrestling Bam Show uh, network on Thursday. Uh, it was a is a, a very fun interview about how uh, that went down and also her first professional wrestling match was on Raw. So no hell shit. hell of a debut. Uh, wow, against Oscar. <laughs> against Oscar, I got some offense in and got mic time. And uh, and everything, and maybe quoted Scott Steiner. WrestleMania watch party coming up <laughs> this Sunday. Is it starting at seven officially, or when the kickoffs? We can. Or we, I don't know. Five o'clock. Are we doing Pre-show. five o'clock? Five. Keep an eye on. Uh, keep an eye on the, uh, the, the 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 event page, and we'll have an official time for WrestleMania starts at five a.m. Yeah, five a.m. We'll be here. Um, you know, right after church. Uh, oh, not <laughs> coming up, coming up. Actually, we just announced uh, tomorrow we'll have Christian Black of uh, Rise Wrestling. We'll be here in studio for an Indie Mayhem show recording tomorrow at 7 p.m. Look for that on the Indie, Indie Wrestling.us Facebook page. And coming up, we got lots of guests lined up. Honey Badger returns to the show next Tuesday. Mambo yes. Italiano will be here because we're going to have a real Italian do the Slice on Broadway ad. Yes. Uh, and also just booked Laura Loveless will, will return on uh, and she, actually she's not been on the Wrestling Mayhem show she was on the Indie Mayhem show uh, she'll be coming in I don't know if she's going to bring her cool uh, glowy wings or not uh, but she has a pretty cool entrance she's added on there uh, thank you everybody subscribing thank you Todd DeFazio for um, uh, um, joining us on the longest Mayhem show ever <laughs> I, I enjoyed it I, I, I like it here man uh, bring me back we're please. definitely going to have to bring you back when it's maybe maybe less insane we'll <laughs> see about that I'm comfortable with insane it's <laughs> and puppets insane. and puppets say, that, just not lady puppets that sword <laughs> we're going to be able to check out all your stuff we're going to be able to check oh, out oh we're are you talking to me yes, okay yes. Uh, idiotradio.net uh, best place to go that'll take you to all our podcasting and iTunes SoundCloud YouTube Spreaker and iHeartRadio. Uh, also, my other project, which I didn't mention, I'll probably get in trouble for. Uh, I'm the co-host and, well, sidekick and producer of Jim Crow No Restrictions. Mm-hmm. You can get that at PittsburghPodcastNetwork.com. There you go. Go check it out. Uh, I've met, uh, met uh, Jim before at a few events that we've done around podcasting. Really Great cool guy. guy. Yeah. A lot of fun. Uh, thank you, uh, everybody uh, down the line. <laughs> hey, sir. Yes? You need to thank our sponsor. Which sponsor? IndieWrestling.us. I gave a shout out to IndieWrestling.us to check out the the Indie Mayhem show. Oh, there's a special promo code. It's April, and that means you guys can get video on demand with their promo code RAIN2018 over there. Check out the new video on demand service. It works on iPhones and your tablets and everything. So uh, uh, get that. What? Rain as, no, no, rain as in water because of April showers. Rain with a Y? Rain with an I. Oh. Rain 2018, you'll get 25% off digital, uh, I'm sorry, video on demands over there at IndieWrestling.us. And we just released today, Heavy Metal Jesus, <gasps> Logan Shulo in IWC, now known, of course, as Elias. And that look, guy can play a mean guitar. He can play, and look for a future edition. There will be another release. And Volume it's, 2. It, well, it's gonna, it was kind of in a reverse order, but uh, we're going to go further back in time. With the front man. Volume zero. Yeah, kind of. Um, but uh, so that's on uh, uh, video on demand digital download today at IndieWrestling.us if you want to check out some early Elias uh, taking on a lot of really cool guys on there. So thank you, everybody. Thank you, this incredible crew uh, joining us from all over the country. Uh, uh, thank you for the Patreon in the bank. This is a, a wonderful display of everybody, the, uh, the mass of Mayhem Nation here. Uh, and thank you so much for that. 
Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Mayhem out. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.